Joined by some uh, some marvellous people uh, who are all pretty much tired. I mean, uh, turning to you, Steve, of course. Steve, you're here. Steve Osaurus, how are you doing? Ruined. You just, the, you, the whole room is ruined. It's, it's chaos here as well. Just, oh. I mean, if you're watching this show live, you'll notice the vinyls aren't even back on the wall yet. Yeah. Uh, the cables, I mean, Steve and I have spent a good, what, 10 minutes to get the cables sorted out. Oh, yeah. It was just chaos, like everything working again. The Skype PC shot itself. I don't get um, it. When we put the cables away, they were all in neat rolls and individual. We put them in a bag in separate containers, and then all of a sudden, someone's gotten in there on the journey home and just tied them all in knots. <laughs> I think it's like Christmas tree lights, you know, yeah. where you put them away, kind of folded beautifully, and they come out like a big jumbled ball of hate. You know, that's exactly what happened there with, our, with, our, with us there. Um, so, I mean, you look shattered, dude. Uh, pretty, pretty knackered. How, how was your drive back? I've kind of hit a wall, you know, that, that's, that's, I think I, I kind of just this last hour, I think it's maybe just a come down from the weekend. Yeah. It's fucked up. The drive was fucking immense. Oh. I got so fucked off at one point, I was like, right, you know what? I know I'm not supposed to cross those white lines on the road <laughs> but fuck them <laughs> I was just gone I, t- I couldn't I couldn't handle the fucking 40 mile hour oh you know, yeah all the fucking grannies there was some cunt in a, in, I think it was a micro they're sitting about 20 mile an hour on a main road oh man know, and, and it was like we thought it's maybe just because you know there was like a 30 zone halfway through this little village and then it back to the normal yeah yeah national speed limit thought must just be that it's okay no 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 about a mile later we're still sauntering along 20 mile an hour <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck this. It's, uh, I mean, it was. I mean, we were the same, of course, coming back. Uh, myself and Coops were in the uh, the Pouget Moté, as we've, as we've uh, pronounced this thing. Branded it. Uh, you know, of course, cause, because, uh, you know, your good lady, the Flaps, uh, let, let us use her, her old Peugeot 206. Yes. And, I mean, this thing was absolutely packed full of show kit and you know people you know me coops sparky at one point as well we'll get to that as well because that's quite a good story <laughs> what happened there um now uh, of course maynard you're here as well my friend yes yes uh, you again of course i was also quite tired yeah feeling feeling a bit uh, under the well not under the weather feeling a bit fucked a bit to put it politely yeah <laughs> i was sent a photograph uh from somebody um in the, in the car with you yes uh, i believe it was tiny carl reed Fuck in the car with you of you having a proper b- uh, bijou snoozette. Oh, that was a that was a proper turbo sleep. That, that was, was a cracker. That, that was out well. cold. And then if I can open my eyes, just in time to see the flash go off, I was like, ba bang! I was like, hey man, come oh, on now. Oh no, no. Also in the studio we have Mr. Forbes, who's been quite graciously staying here at DHB Towers, taking care of uh, the man, the myth, the Milo, um, <laughs> for a few days. <laughs> Forbes, how are you doing? See, I don't know about you lot. I'm feeling. Absolutely fine. Well, how about fuck you then? <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Uh, also, get the fuck out my house. Yeah. Get the fuck out my house, exactly. And also on Skype, we have, as usual, the right royal Reverend Pink. How are you doing, my friend? Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I'm still feeling a bit fucked myself. Ruins actually. well. Now, listen, folks, before we continue here, uh, this could be a very short show because, of course, last night was our very first ever live, DHB Live event. And I mean, fucking hell! What what a lot of fun it was. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I loved every minute of the whole thing. You see, it was brilliant, nerve wracking, yeah. but brilliant though. So, if you're listening to the show for the first time, you know, be it through our chat room or be it through uh, the podcast, I might recommend you go back listen to some of the old shows first. Maybe the last, maybe the last, a couple, last three shows to get a feel of what we actually do. Don't have this as your first show. Because the, we've got nothing prepared. There's nothing. We normally have uh, tons of different segments and emails and news stories and nothing prepared. Because everything was used for the live show last night and what a crack that was. You know what this episode is going to be like? You know when you see like The Simpsons or Friends now and again, there's always that one episode when it's all about memoirs, memories about what happened. Exactly. And they're always, oh yeah, remember that day when this happened? It's going to be all blurry. And, or, and it's old episodes then. Or they have, oh yes, of course, they've you know got recap I mean? shows, you yeah, know? It's or they have the ones where, they, you know, at the end of the series where they have a host and they the cast on, like, on high chairs going, yeah. let's look back at your favourite parts <laughs> of the show and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But, I mean, really, it's, I mean, the place is a fucking tepid as well. I mean, everything's still in the car virtually. We've, I mean, literally ran in here, uh, hello to Forbes briefly, hello, how are you? And then yeah. just start putting things together again to, to broadcast the show live tonight. But, fucking hell, it's been, I mean, it's been fantastic. So, again, like I said, folks, if this is your first show, don't listen to this as your first show. Uh, go back to maybe the last couple, last three. Try it that, you yeah. know, and see you get on. But, uh, and we do have a lot of folks in the chat room as well, which is fantastic. 
Or um, alternatively, just go and download the previous 90 and listen to them all. There's a plan, exactly. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Good shout. Um, so, Steve, I mean, uh, going back to your drive north, of course. Now, before we left, before you even left for, for Thurzo, for the live event, you went away and got decals put on your car, which yes. I think are fucking brilliant. Yeah. Now, give us, give us an, uh, give us an example, a description of what these decals are. Oh, just, um, I mean, it, it kind of just came to me a few days before we left, and I thought, you know what, it's stupid going all that way and not having a bit of advertising on the cars. Yeah. So I, I asked on Facebook, you know, does anyone know anyone who does decals, need some graphics for the car? Um, and thankfully, we've got Clark at Posh Bliss. He, uh, he helped, helped me get some, some URLs for the car. Nice big www.dhbradio.com right up the side of the car. Oh, it's brilliant. The boot, <laughs> same the other side. Um, and thankfully, uh, Darren, uh, we're, uh, we're printer, I can't remember their name now, uh, he got us the, the big sticker for the bonnet as well, which was put on at an angle deliberately because we knew for a fact if we tried to put it on straight, it wouldn't work. Oh, you mean Darren from uh, the dugout? Yes. Yes, yeah, the dugout one. here Jesus. in Aberdeen, yes. Yeah. I, uh, and these things look fantastic. Looks amazing. And especially the decal that's on the bonnet. Now, if you imagine, folks, the our, our run DHB logo that we have, uh, you know, Steve got this done, but you know, of course, your car's white. Yes. So you had the DHB layer and put in black with the red bars yep. above, back and forth. This looks fantastic yeah. on the car at an angle. I saw this and I was just stunned. I mean, if you go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Doggets Bastards, and look there, there's photographs on there that I posted on this car. And it looks brilliant. <laughs> I've loved it a bit. But so I'd said, look, Steve, here's some window stickers, you know? Um, and I put a thing on Facebook and Twitter saying, guys, if you see the car, and you can manage to safely stop the car, you know, without killing Steve documents, then you get a free <laughs> sticker when you put one more. Now, now, Steve, of course, we made it to Thurso one piece. Yep. And I believe you had somebody stop the car. In Thurso, yes. Yes, what happened? Just, well, we were driving down the street towards the hotel, um, and I had me, the flaps, and the coops in the car. So we're all sitting there, quite the thing, and for some odd reason, up, up in Thurso. Now, the, in my experience of parking, you generally don't park on double yellow lines, Yes. And you don't park next to another car that's on the double yellow lines and block the entire fucking road. Exactly. Well, that happened in yes. front of us. Yes, it did. Two people with massive, not even just like, you know, it wasn't like it was a pair of Toyota Igos or something. It was a, you know, or smart cars. <laughs> exactly. It was fucking like Freelanders and Land Cruisers, you know, a fucking massive. There was one <laughs> one Land Cruiser with like a high left kit with huge wheels. The thing looked, the thing looked, like, looked like Bigfoot spat at a fucking offspring, you know, the Bigfoot, the trouble most of course. Um, his friend, of course, and an equally ab abused fucking, you know, Hilux or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, so, I, as I said, blocking the whole road. Pull up behind them, stop, right, okay, what the fuck's going on here? Uh, we'll just, we'll sneak past them. So I just kind of, you know, quick check for traffic, as you do. Mirror, mirror signal. Naturally. Yep. <laughs> Foot down. <laughs> uh, got around them and slowed down again. As I did, boom, 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 in the side of the car. And of course, we just passed what looked like a bunch of little neds at the side of the road. <laughs> so I'm, you know, my first reaction is, what the fuck? <laughs> of course, the, the two ladies in the car, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming like fuck, which obviously you know made my what the fuck go up an octave. Ab what absolutely. The fuck? <laughs> uh, so you know we're like, what the fuck? Oh, the hell's this? Looking yeah. at the window, and all of a sudden we hear, "Fuck you, John." <laughs> there we go. One of our listeners, Do uh, Donny Robson. Donny Robson giving us a wave. Hello. I was like, oh, hello. How you doing? Quick chat. Sticker for you, kind sir. Perfect, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Maynard, have you got video going on there, Tors? Just chatting. No, I try to log it on, and it won't even log on for, for whatever reason. So I'm oh, just looking at a blank screen. Just try to look professional. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, excellent. Forbes here. You're, you're the computer whiz kid and all that, Forbes. I'm, you've been at college, and I was hoping you was going to jump in and fucking go all NASA on this thing. It's remedial computing. <laughs> ah, okay, it's, it's a touch and spell. It was like no, <laughs> can I can I advise in my in my capacity as a, as you know as an IT consultant in the past? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Uh, it's <laughs> off at the minute. I didn't want to switch it back on in case it went. Dun -dun -dun -dun, you know, ah, I mean? right, okay. oh, no, feel free, Daryl, if you want to. Um, so of course, I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> Oh, here we go. <coughs> so yes, of course. Uh, I mean, great weekend we had. I mean, uh, we're all ruined. I mean, you can hear my voice is uh, is subdued at best. Yeah. Tonight, Steve, of course, you as well sound a bit kind of subdued. Maynard, your your normal magnificent self. Yeah. Uh, you know, <laughs> Forbes is you know not heavy breathing, which is a bonus. <laughs> what? <laughs> Pink, of course, again. I mean, Pink, you're you're ruined, are you as well too? 
I'm a little bit. I'm walking a wee bit lighter than I was last week, I must admit. But, you know, apart from that, things are fucking pretty good. I'll tell you one person who seems okay, though, is that bastard Coops. She can fuck right off. <laughs> she can fuck yeah. right off. Wait, I mean, I'll get to her eventually because, my God. <laughs> fucking cow. Fucking cow. <laughs> exactly. Midden. <laughs> fucking hell. I mean, her and the, her and the flaps. Perfect. Great. Yeah. Look at us, we're great, you know, for Dazzy. We're ruined. At breakfast this morning, heard and flaps chatting away quite the thing. Oh, you keep him all, yeah, you look him all. Da, 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 da. There's us. All right, it's got, uh, yeah. how are you doing, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the thing, of course. So uh, on the way up the road there, now, of course, I'm using, I'm driving the Bougie Malte. And uh, the Bougie Malte! <laughs> and, and initially, from the first kind of leg of the journey, you know, I have uh, the coupes in the car as well now, which meant as the back seats are down and we've stowed in all the audio kit and we've also put in all as well all the uh, her kit as well. Now, of course, the Coops was doing an Anne Summers party on the Friday <laughs> night before the, uh, the live show. Sorry, the Saturday night, I apologise, before the live show on the Sunday. So um, all the kit was that was in the back of the Puget Mote and uh, we're heading north and it wasn't until we got to like Elgin because we had to go to Elgin to pick up Sparky. Yeah. And then it was decided that Coops would then evacuate the Puget Mote and jump inside the Scubasaurus with yourself, <laughs> you see. Which meant me and Sparky now in the Puget Mote. Mm. And we're heading north. But she'd failed to mention the fact that there's a case in the boot of the car <laughs> that contains over £400 worth of rubber cocks. <laughs> so can you imagine, I mean, my concern was, what if, what if the police had, uh, were doing a random, like, a random kind of checkpoint or doing random stops and checks. They pull over two large men with bald heads and tattoos and piercings and ask them if they can see in the boot. I said, I'm sorry, but if I see one blue light, we are going to start winging cocks out the windows before they stop us. Because let's face it, I mean, that's, that's jail time out right there. That's How gonna, bad does that look? That's going to make prime time police camera action. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. <laughs> <coughs> the best of police suit, A suitcase full of 400, 400 uh, quids worth of plastic cocks and a couple of big fannies in the front. <laughs> you made <laughs> me fucking sad. No. Hey, do, do you like the way I flipped it there? You see, you need to be at the live show to know that joke. Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. So, we, we make it alive into Thurzo, of course, with our giant bag of cocks in the back of the car as well. The, the Pushy Moti did a fucking <laughs> sterling job of getting us there. And um, so we get to the hotel, that was great, you know, we get checked in, fantastic, we get our bags in, the whole shoot and match, great. We go and visit Mama Sasquatch. What a wonderful woman, can I add. By the way. What a wonderful woman. Absolutely. I, I can't praise her anymore. She is amazing. <laughs> she loves you guys. She's spot on. Oh, I mean, she even said to me, can I, can I, can I adopt them, you know? She's just smitten with you guys all. But um, we went to see, obviously see Mama Sasquatch, um, back to the hotel for a little bit as well. We then left again in the Puget Mote for a wee, a wee spider with myself and Sparky, I think it was. And we saw, like, listeners who, who recognised. We recognised Jim Patience, Heather, Heather of course. Yeah. We recognised j was there as well, mm -hmm. Carl Reed, crossing the road. Now, we're in a small, you know, colourless, grey, dull-looking, dark night as well, Pujo, shouting, Fuck you, John! At the window. They're like, in the road, diving for cover, thinking they're under attack, you know, from this, <laughs> some random car going past. So, um, I mean, Steve, I mean, how was your uh, how was your journey there for a start? Well, the journey was all right. I mean, the, the banter was pretty good. Uh, we kind of once we got past north of Inverness, you know, with that last sort of hurdle. Yeah. It was kind of like big, long, open roads, and the only cars that were on the road were doing like forty miles an hour. So you kind of had to wait for your right opportunity to overtake. Well, luckily, obviously, you know, Subaru's got a good bit of power behind it. So, yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> there's shorter straights of road you could overtake on that you wouldn't normally in a normal car. So it was not too bad. We just kind of hoofed it up the road and got there in plenty of time. Um, the the best uh, the best moment of the weekend, I think, had to be the road rage we encountered on the uh, I think it was a Saturday morning uh, <coughs> when you <laughs> we'd obviously gone in to see the the tattooist. I forget his name. Sorry, Mark. Mark. Yes. yes I... uh, we'd been in to see him. Hello, Mark. How are you? Yes. Nice to meet you. You know, check my scabby tattoo. You know, yeah. <laughs> showing off all my rubbish tattoos. Okay. Um, <laughs> And I think I can't remember what the plan was. I think it was to uh, I think it was to go and pick someone up or do so. I can't remember. But regardless, I got in the car. Car facing the wrong way. Right, we need to pull a U-turn here. Road's not quite enough wide enough for a proper U-turn. Right. So you've got to do that whole pull out, reverse back, pull in again. You know. The three point turn, the three, basically. Well, yes. it should have been a three pointer. Um, the five point turn. The five point. The turn in the road using forward and reverse gears only. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's officially called in your test now. Is it really okay? Yeah. So. 
Anyway, we're losing the point here. Okay. Uh, so I pull out and I pull back in again because I can see this like Honda Jazz thing coming down the road. And I thought, right, if I reverse back far enough, he'll have time to scoot by. I won't disrupt his day. Everyone's fucking delighted. <laughs> so I reverse back and okay. I got so far back that my, my back tyre touches the curb. That's how far back. I can't go any further. <laughs> right. I'm well and truly snuck out the road. There's no way I'm covering his half the road. Okay. Well, this guy speeds up, swerves in the middle of the road. <laughs> And hands up, oh, gestures galore. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm, I was shocked to start. I just kind of right, okay, into first gear. We'll pull away anyway. Yeah, there's, there's something wrong here. Into first gear, pulled away, and the guy sat hard up my chuff. That was it, fucking. And he's still giving it hand gestures, and I thought, fuck this, handbrake on, out the car. And I got up to his window and I said, are you taking the fucking piss? Oh, no, no, I was, I was joking, I was joking, I was just playing me, I was just playing he me. He was joking, he said. Apparently, oh, very good. Brilliant. So, I was just playing me, I was just playing me. But of course, at this point, Sparky dove out the back of the car as well. Obviously, right, okay. Obviously, you know, to make sure I was okay. Naturally. <laughs> just to, in fact, it came to, to be the voice of reason. Absolutely. To make could, sure you remained calm, the driver remained calm. You could you tell. Know. You could tell he had his Bible in hand. Naturally. Naturally. <laughs> very uh, devout fellow. At which point, the, the driver of said Honda Jazz says, uh... Go and tell Rambo to get in the back of the car. Fucking <laughs> 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 ace. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just joking. It was joking. I mean, I mean, Rambo, does the guy not know, know his superhero <laughs> kind of action? It's honestly Stone Cold Steve Austin that he's playing, you know? <laughs> I would have said more like the, the thing from the Fantastic Four. <laughs> ah, good comparison, exactly. I mean, uh, I mean, of course, I mean, you, you didn't arrive until the next day. Yeah, we got Saturday. On Saturday, yeah. How was, how was your journey north? It was good. It, the journey north was rapid, is what I would say. Right. Um, I've got to give a shout out straight away to Duncan McLean because, in fact, I like to call him fucking Maverick from now on. I've never seen a man dr- move so fast in all my life. We must have set the land speed record up going up there. Fucking sixty mile an hour. Obviously. Do you know what? <laughs> I'll give. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> stuck to the speed limit. Bang on. Like sixty nine point nine. Naturally. Naturally. Like, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> there was there was no limits. Uh, the, there was no limits breached or anything. The old DeLorean hit 87 miles per hour. There was flames in the tires. 1.21 gigawatts. 1.21 gigawatts. There you go. go on. So sorry. We'll be there a week ago. Exactly. You what right. I meant. I'm sure we got there before we even set off. Well, because you did say that arriving Thursday was like arriving in the 1980s. Oh, <laughs> holy shit. Fucking hell. I've seen cars I've never seen before in my life. Brilliant, I isn't was it? Like, Genius. I was like, fucking first car. I saw was like a Mark one. I got I'm like, huh? Like brand new and everything. <coughs> Sparky wanted to move up there because, you know, he saw, you know, Fiestas and he saw yeah, Mark 1 Escorts and, you know, Mark 1 Arsenal was like, how, wow, hi, you know, what's going on? <laughs> Brilliant. <you know>? It's <laughs> um, on the Saturday, me, Sparky, the Flaps and Coops all decided, right, we're going to John O'Groats. We're going to get some right. photos up there because it's obviously like, you know, furthest point you can go. Okay. Yeah. So we all jumped in the car and we're driving through this town. And there's like a car dealership at the side of the road, and I, I couldn't tell you any of this town. It was maybe like the car dealership, six houses, and a post box. Right. You know, that was about it. We're driving past, and there's one car sat outside, a <laughs> D Reg Volvo 740 estate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing had, the, you know, the, the proper's kind of sticker in the window, you know, but they've got the interchangeable numbers and stuff. Yes. Yeah. Three hundred and fifty pounds. Oh, brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bargain, a steal, if you will. <laughs> it, was the, it was the only car. There. <laughs> Did you pass by the lovely village of Ham? Perhaps y- yes, well we've seen Ham. <laughs> seen Ham. My okay. favourite village is Ham. <laughs> My favourite village. <laughs> but here's the thing that bugs me as well, though, about how about cunts basically as well as John O'Groats. Uh, we've said before, there's nothing there really. Well, although yeah. there is now, though, they have built new chalets and stuff, and mm. you know, it's. There's a knitwear shop. There's a knitwear shop. There's a candle <laughs> shop. A candle shop. Pot- pottery. Oh, lovely. Pottery and gifts. Ah, the- sort of groats. Oh, yeah. Don't like. Don't get too excited. You're all sitting down. I'm all sitting down. Yeah, we're all sat down. All of me's down. Ice cream parlor. Oh, part of me's now up. Just, just what you need <laughs> at possibly the windiest, coldest part of Scotland. It's a brilliant. Fucking ice cream. But shop. here's the bit that gets me through this. Now, of course, Land's End or John O'Groats. You go there to get a photograph taken by the landmark, the yeah. sign that points to the opposite, opposite corner. So the sign, of course, points to the land's end from there with a number of miles, of course. Some entrepreneur, now this is a fucking sly move, bastard. Entrepreneur has bought the square, like four foot square bit of land that the post sits on. And now has taken the, the, the sign post off of the pole. And there's now a, a notice there that says... If you want to be have your photograph taken with the uh, the signpost, 
please call Peter on blah, 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 blah. Here's his mobile number, blah, blah. He'll be with you in about 20 minutes, you see. So some guy arrives, you know, in his fucking Volvo, d Volvo, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know. He then fits the, the sign back on for you with a point to the, and charges you money that your folk have taken with that sign. Cheeky Unbelievable. Bastard. Isn't that the cheekiest bastard thing you've ever heard of, that you know? The because thing how I've many ever heard fucking of. cyclists go up there to go, yeah. oh yes, I'm going to cycle from Land's End to John Cross, or vice versa. Start there, go south. And they're like, wait a minute, there's no fucking same post yeah. He must make a goddamn killing. Especially if got- now, you know what you could do? You know what you could do? Because obviously there is no trespassing law in Scotland. What you could do, some sneaky other entrepreneurial bastard could just go and put a sign on top of his one every day and say, phone this number, and you just stand at the side <laughs> with an alternate sign. <laughs> they phone you and go, no bother, boss. You just turn up. Ah, that'll be a pound. Genius. Let's, let's speak to Darren at the dugout. Perfect. We need a sign. How about we get like a, a fake sign, you know, that just uh, as DHB related, yeah. you know, that points out to the ocean. Or how about <laughs> you know, Atlantis, 500 miles that way. DHB <laughs> Studios, and then how many miles it is to Narnia! <laughs> this way, you know. Have a cupboard next to it. DHB Narnia. Studios, Hobbiton! Jim Patience, 800 miles and pissed. <laughs> <laughs> poor Jim Patience, we'll get to him as well, of yeah. course. <laughs> Mike, the poor man, oh. the poor man, bless him. <laughs> Lovely ruined. guy, you know, but ruined. But anyway. So, of course, uh, you went to John Groves, you saw the lovely post that was there. Yeah. I believe somebody bought some chocolate penises or, or chocolate dog, uh, sheep poos. Oh, it was um, cow pats. Cow pats, sorry. Yes, okay. chocolate cow pats. What? Coops bought chocolate cow pats for her kids. What? Here's some shit-looking chocolate for you, Bairns. Enjoy. Oh, no, no. This was inspired by the Flaps because oh. the Flaps' mother is called Pat. All right. <laughs> So the the in joke between the flaps and our sister when they were kids when they were you know getting in trouble from her oh you ever been called cowpat hey. <laughs> <laughs> cheap insult at her mum can I go. just say by the way the flaps of course uh, arrived with with Steve and I love her yeah she's she, fantastic she's you can have her how can you not love her <laughs> she's, well, she's, she's tiny yeah. she's, you must have won her in a fucking cracker she's <laughs> tiny but she's fantastic <laughs> she told me a story now can, can I tell a story I think I can I think she said it was okay to tell a story Just about the ducks the du- yes the mechty ducks <laughs> this now my oh genius genius with this story alone I went from loving her to being in love with her she's <laughs> ma- we're walking from one venue to the next venue now of course we arrive there Sod's Law states that down in Aberdeen, it was a little bit sunny. As we head closer to fucking, you know, Hobbiton, <laughs> you know, it, it's getting worse and worse, you know. There's snow at one point, and there's hailstones, and there's sleet. It's fucking yeah. horrible. You know, we get there, it's just overcast the whole weekend. It's thumping down rain, it's cold. So we're heading from one venue to the other venue, and it's a little bit of a brisk walk. And the flaps just breaks into the story about some ducks, you see. <laughs> and it was so good, I had to pull my phone out and record video, you know. And she's telling us about how there was one morning, you know, in her old home. She wakes up in the morning, right, time for work, had the wee coffee, got dressed, showered, dressed, out the front door, notices a solitary duck on a wall outside her house. Oh, lovely, a wee (laughs) duck. The duck, though, isn't the friendliest duck in the world. Glares at her and starts quacking. Oh, oh, wait a minute, says the flaps. Release the quacking. (laughs) Release the quacking. Jeez. (laughs) Instantly thinking, on the back foot, Oh, wait a minute, he's a, he's a tad menacing. It gets worse. He was then joined by two duck friends. <laughs> There's now three ducks charging the poor flaps. Well, what what would you do, Maynard? I mean, what would you do, Maynard? I'd be you, fucking gone. Gone. Yeah. She then had to run back for the house. She pursued by three ducks. Three, it appears, angry ducks. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, she gets inside the house, door slam locked. Because you know ducks can operate fucking doors, you know. <laughs> hey, I've door. seen them film the birds. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock, fucking hell. Straight so, for the eyes. Boom, door locked. She's now in the living room, panicking. How do I get to work? There's three ducks out there who want to kick the shit out of me. I've no idea what I've done to offend them. You know, no idea. <laughs> so, she's, she then has to phone her work to say, I'm going to be late. I'm trapped in the house by ducks. Right? <laughs> and the... It's <laughs> so she has to. <laughs> in tears. She has to wait. She has to wait till the ducks go away before she can leave the house. So, as she would do, if she's in the living room, the ducks can see through the window, <laughs> right? And they're up there, like glaring at her. You're fucked, Mrs. <laughs> right? She goes and hides in the hall. 
She's hiding in a hallway of her own home from three ducks who were intent on her murder. Eventually, the ducks fuck off and she managed to escape to her work. But this story alone made me fall in love with this girl. She's fucking been, oh. you know the, best the thing, thing is, that. though, the thing is, though, the flaps are so small, she would have looked out and actually seen fucking emus. Oh, <laughs> there's fucking the, tears in my head. The best thing about that is, I mean, can you imagine as an employer getting that foot? I'm not going to be in. You know, can't come in today. <laughs> yeah. Ducks outside. Now, anyone else, if you didn't, if you didn't know Tracy... <laughs> You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. Get to work. If I phoned my work, right, as a door steward and said, guys, I'm really sorry. I'm going to be about half hour late. I'm currently avoiding mallards at the back of the house. This could get messy. They've got a flick knife. I saw one with a net. It's all kicking off here at fucking Shez DHB Towers. You know? Uh, oh. They're going to go fucking wise up, <laughs> get in your thing. car before we set fire to you. You know? That's a wonderful thing about her, though. I mean, she's obviously phoned her work. She never said they were annoyed or anything, so I'm just assuming they phoned her and they've gone, ah, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. You know? I, I know? And that's the beautiful thing about her. She's just one of these girls. Brilliant. Brilliant! She's fantastic. Yeah. You, can't, you can't help but love her. There you, was couldn't so ma- you can't get mad at her. You can't get mad at No. You know? I mean, even the Coop said, you know, Coop said, you know, I wasn't too sure if. Tracy and I would get on initially because Coops is quite a, quite a blokey kind of, you know, hanging with the lads yeah. and a bit no. more kind of coarse and I know you're shocked, you know. <laughs> Thank God I'm whereas so Tracy, the kind of girl that can kick down doors. Whereas Tracy <laughs> is just lovely and just wee yeah. and just girly and, you know, but Coops loves her. Oh, yeah. The two of them are thick as thieves, oh, you aye. know. It's like BFFs. Yeah, that's <laughs> an alliance I'm not keen on. True. <laughs> We're going to get bullied. Well, it's well, going to happen. Uh, exactly. We can get to that as well because those pair together, you know, it's like the old, um, do you remember the old uh, heart to heart? When they got together, <laughs> it was moida. You know? They could, start, they could start their own double act, you know, little and large. <laughs> oh. Teeth trying, teeth trying. So, uh, so where was I? Yes, the dog story. What was it before that? There was rain. We were driving yeah. north. Uh, God damn it. Anyway, so dildos. Uh, moving on. <laughs> so the Friday night, of course, uh, we'd all gone to the uh, the venue, the Why Not venue. Yes. And uh, we'd gone there to have a wee look at the place and uh, go over what was what, what the kind of format might be and stuff, and had a few kind of shandies. And then um, it was pretty much a case of, you know, bailing out early because I was shattered. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the Coops and I bailed off early, leaving Steve and, and Sparky behind, you know. Yeah. And, uh, did you guys hang around for long at all? Or? We, we ended up in Skin Andy's. Oh, lovely! <laughs> the next club the, on a on a Friday night. A fucking six pound a head to get in. Oof! It's I tell you, it's not cheap. I can't, I, I don't know why it's not cheap though. <laughs> I don't know why it's not. Cheap. There was like twenty people there. Yeah, it was a complete sausage fest. <laughs> <laughs> but um, didn't you guys see like somebody getting a hand job? Yes, we see. Get this. This was fucking ace. You know, like. It, I don't know. I can only liken it to like you know when you were like your fucking teenage discos, your underage discos when you're kids. Yes. And you go there and you kind of you get a girl and you kind of snog her in the corner. Yes. Because <laughs> that's what you do. Yeah. But you would maybe sit with your legs a little bit apart and she'd stand in about. Right. You know, so your legs are outside of her. Oh yes. Okay. Know, yeah. 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 And you can have a wee smooch. Well, imagine that scene. Right. Lovely young girl, nice long red hair, beautiful legs on her. To be fair. Brilliant. Touche. She's there, quite a thing. The boy's there. It's happening. Lovely. Except she's sitting down, legs apart. Right. And he's standing in front of her. And they're having a smooch. Except her elbow's giving it ten to the dozen. Oh. I couldn't hear music, but I could have sworn she was playing the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> the, the elbow was it, going. It looked like a deleted scene from fucking The Inbetweeners. It, it <laughs> yes. It was fucked up. <laughs> That's it, pretty fucking bad. That shit happened. So the best thing is, of course, you guys are there to, to damn near the death. Uh, yeah. You then go to another venue nearby yes. to, to, to have a wee scouty before it closes, before the, before the curfew's in place. Yeah. You go in before the curfew's in place, you're in for a wee nosy. Mm. You're there till the end, I believe. Uh, Sparky was. Sparky was. I, I bailed out. We got there and the doorman was just a complete prick. Was he? He's just been a right knob. Oh, so, right, okay. So, so was, I, I just got, I'm sick of looking at his face. So I thought, right. Is that the venue that, uh, you know, the venue on the main stretch, near, near our hotel? Yes. The doorman there's a greedy cunt. Big time. Oh, he makes, he just, his face makes me sick. He was just, he just looked like such a fucking, and he just, he wasn't even giving us the time of day. Oh. Fuck him. 
So I thought, you know what? Yeah. Said, but by that point, I once saw him kick a puppy in the face. I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, I did hear that. So that's <laughs> disgraceful. What you're trying to say is you met rude and ignorant people over the weekend. Yes, we did. We may have. Oh, oh, oh! My f- piss is fizzing, but I can't get to that. Anyway, so Sparky's in there. Uh, Spark oh, loves an in joke. Loves an in joke, exactly. <laughs> it's not even shit. But I'm, I'm, I'm not even that button. Fuck him. So. It's so Sparky's in there, of course, and then Sparky's in full on search mode. You know, oh. he's oh. you could hear the sonar going, oh. you really could. You know, <laughs> anything with a pulse and boobies, he's targeting, you know, but he's getting nowhere. Now, Sparky, of course, thinks, well, you know what, it's time to tap out back to the hotel, which is virtually next door almost. Back to the hotel, have a wee beach, you snooze it, and for the next day, I'll be charged, ready to go for the evenings, you know, because of the activities, because we had a lot of shit planned. You know, for guys arriving on the Saturday, not everyone was together. We had to get, you know, um, bits together for the show and stuff. So that was fine. So he goes back to his room. Now, we've talked before about Sparky in a late night hotel applying the old San Trapez, you know. <laughs> so he's boozy. He's had a few shandies. He now thinks at four in the morning, I know what I need for the next day, a wee coin of the old fake tan. <laughs> so he lathers it on. Now, of course, the last time, of course, he did this. He went for the wee shower afterwards, toweled off, and the towels looked like he'd been wiping his arse with these towels, you know, and <laughs> messing the floor. The poor hotel staff had to deal with his towels. This time, though, however, straight to bed. Cake in the, in the ba- fake bake, straight to bed. He wakes up in a bed that looks like he's had a dirty protest. You know? <laughs> you know when you see, like, a prisoner in a cell who just, you know, I'm going to fucking screw with these ju- with these uh, officers and shats in the hands and rubs it everywhere, you yeah. know? It's like that. The bed's a fucking midden, you know. I'll tell you what, it was making fucking Maynard look like Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, a lovely glow. You know, give me his shoes. Beautiful glow. He was, <laughs> he was just radiant. Radiant. Well, exactly. He was glowing. Yes. Would be the mm. fucking case. So then, of can course. I just, can I just say a bit sparky? Loves a pie. <laughs> loves a pie. Loves a pie. <laughs> Um, loves a particular brand of pie which again we'll get in fact speaking of which Steve speaking of particular brands of pie that are in the fridge the are day. they yes. right well we were given a bunch of pies for oh. the show I mean what 48 pies Holy 49 shit. I believe a good friend of ours called Ailey Johnson <laughs> you know now Ailey works of course at the Johnson's Bakers in Thurso <laughs> you know loves a pie she's you know said gear guys for the show Here's 48 pies, because, you know, nothing I love more than giving you guys my pies, right? Uh, Brilliant. Pies, great. They're in. Fantastic, you see. Um, of course, they never saw the show. They uh, were obviously kind of hidden away by us. Oh, I, I, believe, I believe one was eaten before. I think, somebody, I think somebody got a pie out, you know, but that was a bit. <laughs> but, uh, I think somebody got one before they were even out of the boot of my car. Exactly, yeah. So, I mean, I mean I've, I've, got, I've got a few pies in the fridge and how to smash them too as well. But anyway. Yeah. Well, we're, um, I think we're down to 48 this Sunday morning. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so, we, um, so the, the, that day, sorry, the Saturday through the day, sorry, myself and Coops had decided, right, we're, we're going to go and get, go and see a guy called Mark Sullivan. And Mark Sullivan works at Thurso Tattoo. And these guys are fantastic, you know. The, the guy who works at Mark is brilliant. We'll swing by and see him, you know, a musician, great artist, a wee, a wee bijou strollet up to the fucking tattoo place. And while we're there, we thought, you know what we'll do? While we're here, it's very quiet today, why not get some tattoos done? You know? Right. Because that's, that's, you know, as you do, you know? You're bored. When, when in Rome. <laughs> when in Rome. When in a tattoo parlour. Let's get some ink done. So, the coop said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a, a quote you know, I'm going to get a line, like some fancy, like, italic kind of lettering uh, across my thigh. Really kind of girly kind of lettering. Lovely looking thing as well. It's oh, pretty and lovely. And a quote from the show that really kind of warms my heart. A quote that, you know, has been in my memory since the early days of the show. Now, Forbes, I'll ask you. Mm-hmm. If you were to pick a quote from the show, what would you have to tune in you? What quote would you would come to your brain thinking, right, that would look great on my flesh? That if someone said to you, oh, what does that mean? You'd go, well, it's from DHB Radio. 
from nothing from the show at all. <laughs> <laughs> Probably get arrested for most of it. Right. Right. Ladies um, and gentlemen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a night. That's about it. That's it's a night. Exactly. Just saying. What about you, Maynard? What do you think? Any quotes at all you think you would... Uh, you would? I mean, b- bear in mind, itch permanently on your flesh. If it's got to be a quote from the show, the only thing you could use is, it's a night, welcome to the show. Mm-hmm. And, and that's about all you could use. Pretty much. Steve, any, any kind of suggestions at all just saying would probably be appropriate for just me. saying so basically that. guys you want uh, a tattoo that's going to be you know clean it's gonna it's mm-hmm. not gonna offend people at all it's gonna be uh you know uh good to look at something you could say mum look what i did yeah something you could say your mum would be proud of yes i personally would have uh, it's like a barrymore pool party <laughs> <laughs> like the, the coops went into the tattoo and goes I want on my side here, on my th- my thigh here. I want the phrase, "Can I see your fucking tits?" <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo to my body. <laughs> Stroke DHP radio, and the guy went, "No problem at all, miss. Have a have a seat there." An hour and a half maybe later, hey. she's now adorned with, "Can I see your fucking tits?" <laughs> Tattooed <laughs> on her thigh. Brilliant. With a little stroke, and then DHP radio after it. And now, her reason being is this, of course, you know, that, of course, she, every week you get this, you know, uh, hang of the arts of clear yes. attempts, and, you know, we had one, had one, of course, during the live show there, which, which, which uh, I can't give away the score, but it was a doozy. Oh, it was you know? a doozy. doozy. Oh. <laughs> so, oh, doozy. I mean, guys, uh, we'll hopefully get the, the, the footage up for you guys soon on DVD format or however we do it, but, wow. Wow. <laughs> doozy. So, wow. <laughs> she said, well, the, 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 the quote that, that I remember the most that relates to me as well, that's as clear as it goes, yeah. is, can I see your fucking tits? From an email back in like episode 12 by the guy uh, David Granger. Yeah. Now, since then, we've used that same line repeatedly, as have many of the folk who've emailed in to the show for Claire. Yes. So what better quote to get on your skin than, can I see your fucking tits? Brilliant. How do you explain that to your mother? How do you, you, How know do you what? explain it to our kids? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, what if you go to the bathing pools? Well, you know, and there's fucking yeah, this reminds me on a scenario my mum used to the give me as a kid. Pools. How old am I? My, no. my, my mum used to say to me, you know, clean underwear every day because you might get hit by a bus. Yes. You know, and someone's going to have to cut your clothes off. Did she think that through? She could get hit by a bus? Ambulance crew? Weak. What the fuck is this? <laughs> exactly. Snip. Oh, what is that? Brilliant. I mean, I, I, I think it's fucking fantastic. There's a two of us as well who uh, nailed it. I mean, it looks beautiful. All right, those he's, look good. he's brilliant, this guy. Who uh, Even he said, he goes, this is the most unique thing I've ever done. <laughs> I'm proud of Sponge. Fuck it. You know, it's brilliant. Great, you to see. To be fair, she, she probably would have been better against someone a bit more practical, like a if found return to, sort of, you know, someone that's going to get her home safe at the end. If found yeah. face down, please call ambulance. Yeah, you know? at least turn over. Exactly. <laughs> but I mean, I was speaking to the two guys as well, and he was telling me about the shortly before this as well, but maybe a week or so ago as well, he had an 84 year old woman in for a tattoo. Yes. 84 year old. But get this she wanted, like, the le- uh, do not resuscitate tattooed in her chest. Yeah. In big letters. Because seemingly this is a common thing now for pensioners. If you, they don't want you to, to save their lives, if they want to just die in their sleep, or sorry, if they, if they want to, you know, you know to be. Not brought back to life by the by, yeah. the, by the the medical staff. They tattoo this in their chest so that they go open the chest. Oh wait a minute, it says here in state. Let, let her die, you know. So she go, came in the glass on her chest and then came back in again to get a big red circle around it in case they didn't see the first time. You see, right? You know, <laughs> to As help it be seen. I thought that was fantastic. You know, wouldn't she be better off with getting something inked on her chest? Like if she was starting to die and they were like ripping open her top to resuscitate her with the words. Please fuck me now. Because <laughs> if you're going to go out, you might as well go out with a bang. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> wow. <coughs> you can so tell that we're not on form tonight whatsoever, can you? <laughs> my God. And so, of course, then it was my turn. Now, I have a, a new DHB related to two, of course, on my back. Up on my higher back, between my shoulder blades. When, and I love it the bit, you know. It's, 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 uh, it's, 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 a, it's basically... A logo idea that I got from one of our friends called Little Dogs. Yeah. You know, who sketched like a skull with like headphones and stuff yeah. and you know and then I changed things around a little bit more as well, added different things to it as well, took his idea and changed it. 
Then there's two S as well, who I emailed beforehand. I took it even more and changed it even more and really knocked out the park. And so there we sat for two hours getting the toed. Fucking brilliant. Delighted. <laughs> it looks amazing so as well, dude. It's a great job. Awesome. You know, the guys, I mean, again, folks, if you're in Thurso, you need to visit Thurso to do because these, I mean, the, the guy working there, Mark, is brilliant, who also came to our live show, by the way, as well. Yeah, yeah. And Seen him there. had some Unicum. Oh. Hated it. <laughs> Not see that. He wasn't a fan, to be fair. Funny that. Funny that. But yeah, guys, if you can, I mean, uh, I mean, big thank you to, I mean, to a lot of work for the weekend, of course. Oh, I mean, man. Ailey Johnson for the pies. Thank you so much. You know, uh, thank you to Mark for the tattoo and work as well. Uh, you know, brilliant job with that as well. Uh, he also helped sponsor the live show as well. Brilliant. So big thank you to nice Mark guy. for that as well. Great guy. You know, thank you to uh, our model, Elka, because she was there as well, of course, yeah. you know, for the photographs as well. I seen her across the room and I thought, I'll need to go and say hello. Yeah. Uh, and then I forgot. Yeah, well, I was exactly I was the same. Drunk. I was exactly the same. <laughs> she, she, she was looking fucking dreadful. I wish she could have fucking dressed up a doll or something. I mean, even if she combed her hair, for fuck's sake, it was all matted with piss and, and, and fag ends. And, she, oh. she could have came there covered in shit and still looked good, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. I wanted to go say hello, but of course I was trapped by the desk, shaking some hands and hello, how are you? Yeah. Steve and I were putting away all the cables and the equipment for the show and stuff, and uh, so I couldn't really see everyone I wanted to see but after the show was done. But uh, give a, give a wee sh- I want to give a wee shout out to Stephen Taylor from Wick. He gave a wee donation to the show last week as well. And oh, a t-shirt. brilliant, Good brilliant. Nice and of course, a big shout out, of course, to Duncan McLean. Duncan, who yeah. drove you yeah. up here as well. Yeah. Duncan was our unofficial photographer. Um, him, and his, him, of course, and his good lady, just Jen, I believe her name is. I Jenna. Is it, I don't know if it's his lady. I'm not sure. We can't go into too much detail because I don't want to say it and then it could be wrong. Right, okay. I think that, you know, there's sparks. Oh, sparks, okay. Love well, he did, I mean, some of the photographs that are going <laughs> to appear shortly on our Facebook page at our website. Yeah. Oh. oh, easy. Yeah, uh, electrical <laughs> fault there. <laughs> it wasn't me burping at all. Um, some of the photographs I've seen already. And they're hilarious. Yeah, I mean, brilliant. And they're all they're all candid shots, like fast, fast. You, I mean, the bastard. You would be walking around and suddenly, boom, fog off in your face. Ah, you know. Now I'd said in the venue. Now the venue that we did the live show, in, of course, is, is in a balcony area in this in this venue. Then why not the upper balcony area where we were at? I'd said to Duncan, would you mind taking a photograph of us all <laughs> on the upper deck, all of the hosts, all the bastards, you know, all in a, in a lineup. You see, now of course we're all dressed smartly, pinks and a kilt. Looking very suave and debonair. Yeah, as always. We're on the balcony. He took about, what, four photographs? Every yeah. goddamn photograph, Pink had his cock out. <laughs> <laughs> what were you thinking, you horrible, lofty bastard? Uh, funny as fuck. <laughs> Pink, any comment on that? Not really. <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> so we've had the uh, we've had the two and done. That's all good, all well yeah. and good. We're away then to get some food as well, and that's fine. You've now arrived, of uh-huh. course. How was your journey north? It was good. It was nice and safe. It's a nice sedate drive, as I was saying. When I Lovely. say sedate, I'm, I'm being sarcastic there. Mark 3. <laughs> Mark <the> 3. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> right, but uh, speed limits, though, yeah, obviously. 6 and 5. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was, um, it, was, it was a good drive, nice and picturesque for the bits what you could actually take in, what you could see there. But, <laughs> uh, it was good. Past the motion blur. Oh, yeah, well, put it this way. My ass muscles are actually tighter now. Not not because Dunk violated me in any way. It's because it, it was gripping the seat that hard at the point. I was like, oh. <laughs> the thing as well, though, I mean, it was kind of snowy and lashing yeah. rain as well. And he's driving a powerful rear wheel drive BMW. Yeah, that's um, optimal conditions for death, is what I would have <laughs> yes, said. Like, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> it's much. like the beginning of an episode of Casualty. I was like, he'll kick me if I don't say it. Powerful rear wheel drive BMW that's for sale. Yes. <laughs> in case you're interested. Okay. And I can vouch it, it drives perfectly. Oh, everything <laughs> works fine. Get it bought, people. Get it bought, people. <laughs> you need that shit in your life. <laughs> <laughs> so we, uh, I mean, of course, the Saturday then was like, well, you know, everyone's here now. We had to go over a few kind of, go everyone together again, you know, to go over some show notes and show, some, some layout ideas. That was fine. We had a group photograph in the, in the Why Not venue as well. And then, of course, a night on, a night on the drink. You know, and it was great fun. Of course, we paid eight pounds for our Scandinavian visit, which fucking hell, Un- eight pounds. I know you don't even pay that for that in any no. club in Aberdeen. No, not you even, know? no club in Aberdeen's that. And do you know what no I mean? No club. I mean, there's ones that are close, but yeah. not eight pounds. Well, I heard eight pounds. Yeah. I was like, ah, is that for four people or something? I was like, what? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing, though. Even the ones that are eight pounds are. Well, that are close to eight pounds in Aberdeen are maybe a hundred times better than that place. It was <laughs> mental, uh, the, ridiculous. The only equivalent in Aberdeen I can think of that you know that would kind of be on a par would be a club that's now shut 
I believe you worked there a few years ago as well, the Corton Club. Oh my god, yes. Uh, It was notorious for being shit. AKA (laughs) Fight Club. Yes. Uh, That was just Mm -hmm. shocking, that place. Oh. They had to put on drinks offers to get people in. (laughs) No. (laughs) Six pounds for a drink. That means every drink you have, you get six pounds. You get some clubs that have, like, you know, sand on the floor, straw on the floor as a kind of gimmick for maybe we're doing like a country and western night tonight. (laughs) I don't know. I just took up the blood and the teeth and the hair follicles and the bits of skin and um, what a place it was. My God. But, um, but I mean, yeah, so Scanandis, I mean, what what did you guys think? A busy place as well, of course, you know, hard to get through the crowds well. The amount of folk that were stopping me, you know, to ask for photographs and. You, you guys at the DHB shaking hands, yeah. And then, of course, you know we we do the well, we've done the videos, of course, for the F- Fifty Shades of Caithness, yeah. You know, and someone's up, you know, coating lines from that as well, and brilliant. you know, brilliant. Pink's away with his penis out somewhere on a on a podium. Oh, no doubt, uh, brilliant. But here's what here's where I kind of struggled a little bit as well was there was a girl there, who you know I'm not going to say her name, but she was a dick, right, and kept grabbing me and trying to grab my balls. I'm like rubbing my titties and I'm like go away and leave me alone I'm trying to pull my drink out of my hand what the fuck are you doing just go away and I started doing what any man would do like that you know I ran away <laughs> so I'm now doing laps off the kind of dance floor here to get escape she's following me wherever I go oh. I managed to escape briefly I think right I'll nip in the toilets I'll go for a piddle yeah. she won't follow me in there I'm safe I go in there I've got the old toodle my magnificent penis in my hand <laughs> And I'm having a waz. Suddenly, there's a new hand there too, as well, reaching for the junk. Whoa. I'm like, "Whoa, what the fuck?" <laughs> I turn around. She's followed me in, and she's trying to get a hand while I'm still pissing onto my junk. I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing?" You know? Oh, I just come to say hello and how you do. Fuck off out of here now, you know? You should have turned around and pissed on her. I should have turned around. Fuck off. <laughs> what, a, what a fucking infernal woman. Infernal. She kept grabbing me and trying to pull me into the cubicle. I'm like, go to fuck. Why? Get yeah. away from me. Again, what any man would do, I ran away again. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't wash the hands. She's, she's clearly not fucking savvy with the old feng shui. There's no way that you and her were fitting in a cubicle. It must well, have true. been disabled, was it? <laughs> well she was by the way she was acting so she, w- she would have needed it after she'd been in there with him I then went to the goddamn to the bar and crouched down damn near on my knees to act to look like normal kind of height you know with all the, the kids that were there as well so she wouldn't see me and it worked she went straight past me and I think eventually she was kicked out, kicked out in the street by the doorman you know but my god <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, I, I, I was in there on the Friday night with Sparky, and it seemed all right. It was a nice club because you had a bit of personal space. Yeah. You could, you know, we could have a drink. We were even pulling lunges. Oh, so it was much beautiful. personal space we had. Lunge, nice, quick adjustment. The boxers, you know. Love perfect, a lunge. Perfect. Oh, lunges galore. Yes. Lungerama. Right. <laughs> Saturday night, different story. You're all crammed in like sardines in a fucking tin. Yes. And then you've got all the fucking lovely, polite people of fucking Thurzo who <laughs> don't know how to... You know, like when you're going through a club, you'll, you'll touch a shoulder. Excuse, yes, exactly. Excuse, excuse me. Sorry. Or a little kind of small the you know, back, you know. Yeah, excuse just, me, you know. And, you know, you're polite enough. Even though you don't say it loud enough for them to hear it. Yes. They turn around and see your little scrunched up face. Saying, excuse me. Exactly. Sorry. Yeah. So, you know, it's it's, it's good et- etiquette. Yeah, exactly. Not in Thurzo. <laughs> Bodies everywhere. Oh yeah! Fucking, oh, Jesus! Do you Christ. remember the old He-Man TV series, a character called yeah. Ram Man? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Basically, head down and fucking go for it. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like what? That, the fuck? He's a good old Thurzo that I heard. <laughs> exactly. There was a fucking I think a woman dressed as a nurse, <gasps> powering through those crowds. Powering you, you through. You know the woman I speak about because she was probably similar build to you. She was bigger You've than seen me. Seen that fuck? She was unbelievable. If she had grabbed me. And said in her most feminine voice, Oi, <laughs> you're getting fucked. I would break down in tears. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> just don't hurt the face. Oh, My beautiful unbelievable. Face. She was on a mission. She came round the side of the bar. Now, in the, in the club, obviously, there were people who weren't there. You've got the bar that kind of goes in a D shape out from the wall. You know, it goes out, round, back in again. And round the back of it, it's one point. There's kind of like railings to keep you from going on the dance floor. A wee railing in the back, so we were standing there at the bar, and all of a sudden it was like people piling on your back, going Ugh, pressing against it. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I was ready to, "Hey, hoy, what the yes, fuck?" Yes, I. But I got as far as turn around and drawing breath and going, and then I kind of got squashed again. And all it was was that big cunt of a nurse 
he was fucking powering through oh, fucking <laughs> bodies <laughs> every, <was> everywhere. <laughs> it was just like, I don't even, you know, like you see the, the big fucking barges going through the ice at the North Pole. Yes. <laughs> oh, That's all I can liken it to. Nothing stood this way. Oh, unbelievable. <clears throat> well, have you seen the film Unstoppable? Yeah. <laughs> that shit was nothing of stopping that shit. You couldn't, oh, yeah. you couldn't derail that bastard. It was just going for a <laughs> no. over there. One of the funniest things I seen that, that, that night was um, poor Cal. <laughs> He was doing final night. Was drinking away. He was he was he was tucking the booze away, no problem at all. And they stood at the side of me. And we were chatting away. And next thing, he said something incoherent to me, which I didn't know, understood what he said. The next thing, he disappears off, and he comes back, and he's fucking ruined. And I'm like, what the hell happened to you? And he can't even talk properly or anything. So it's not till the next morning he tells me the story. He went away. He, he's been away snorting vodka up his nose hole. Yeah. What? <laughs> for the rest of the weekend, he couldn't breathe through his nose or anything. Oh, for Well, God's fucking sake. serves him right, the twat. What <laughs> the, the fuck is fucking that? Fucking Egypt. Oh, what is <laughs> up? So, oh, it's piss funny. Here's where shit gets kind of freaky because it involves the fucking coops. Yeah. Oh, boy, you Fucking coops. Now, of course, coops and the flaps, there was a, a, a kind of stage area at the back of this dance floor, you know. It's a, you used to have uh, stripper poles. But they got removed because people kept getting concussions and fucking <laughs> everything else. And they were sick of seeing like myself and Pink's genitalia in kilts <laughs> with these things. So they're gone, of course. But the coops and the flaps thought, we'll take it upon ourselves to use this as our private dance area. Yeah. And they're going hell for leather. Now, Steve, being the wonderful, caring and supportive partner he is, thinks, I'm going to go to the bar and buy a bottle of water for the girls. Because that much dancing... They've got to be dehydrated. You know. <laughs> dancing, yes. Well. D- that much dancing. That yes, much dancing. Dehydrated. Dehydrated. <laughs> you know what they need? More fucking water. They, it, hydration is Hydration what is the key here. Because yeah. you know of yourself, hydration, uh, you put hydrate, you can collapse. Yeah. You oh, know, yeah. You can collapse. Anything can happen to you. Anything can happen to you. So, Steve, I mean, <laughs> take over what happened there, you know. Take over the sugar. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, obviously, like you say, bottle of water. Thank you very much, barkeep. We back up. <laughs> <laughs> Wrecking the place here, sorry. Too funny. Wrecking the place. Right. Up to them, right, there's a bottle of water. You have a scoop of that. Right. Coop scrape. Great. Whee. Bottle out my hand, lid off, lid gets chucked to fuck. Massive glug, glug, glug. And I'm like, fucking hell. Good shout, Steve. She obviously <laughs> needed that. Yes. But then the bottle's in hand and she spins around. Woof. Water <laughs> everywhere. Oh, Must have fuck. blutered about 30 people on the dance floor. Oh. Spinning. Like the fucking the wave scene out the day after yeah. tomorrow, you know, fucking, <laughs> unbelievable something. And oh my fucking! So I just, at this point, I just walked away. I thought no, because I'm gonna get upset. <laughs> walked away, and next thing I hear, boom! There's a glass thrown off her back. Someone's obviously going, "Oh, you fucking cunt!" Weesh. Yeah, glass fucking drink everywhere. So you know, you think <laughs> that's pretty bad shit. We probably should get out here. No, no, they stand there with the coops going, "What's that on my back?" And the flaps is giving it. <laughs> <laughs> it's vodka the flaps is licking the coops' back it's vodka we're okay <laughs> don't worry I'll lick Boys it all off you you know oh, amazing I mean <laughs> what so fuck? poor Steve is pheasant now of course he's Lots hanging around girl on girl tongue action <laughs> exactly yeah. what was I with my camera phone at this time <laughs> poor Steve's hanging around because of course coops is now pissed off pretty much the whole kind of front row of the dancers ahead of her you see and like one guy pacing back and forth who's like oh. you can see he's, he's scowling you see he was like you know when you see the lions at the zoo and they haven't been fed yet yes and they kind of pace back and forward looking at all the little kids in the buggies poor <laughs> Steve's thinking I'm going to have to go up there you know, and, and stop him from getting to those girls. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna have to go up there and rent him in the right in the fucking dish, <laughs> and then just grab the girls and run. That's you what know? I was thinking. I was like, I'll, I'll never manage to take him. But if I get him right the first time, yeah, be enough time for us all to get out of here. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So of course, it comes to the end of the night, and uh, a couple of our colleagues may have have, have pertained <laughs> some young fellies of the of an evening. Oh, yes. I mean, uh, of course, Sparky. <laughs> Had managed to get himself a bit of uh, you know action, oh. a bit of hot you know, yeah. hot beefy action there you know, um, <laughs> steamy, steamy, mm-hmm. um, and of course uh, Mr. Pink, Pink stink, Magic. Pink, Mr. <laughs> <Yeah>. Pink <laughs> loves a munter, <laughs> loves a munter. So, yeah. so now they've come back to their hotel rooms you know for for some Thai massage. Yeah, you know because you know that's, that's what you do late at night. A bit, bit of mono- massage, bit of monopoly as well. Now the coops. Is with me now. I'm like, right, come on, we're getting you back to the fucking hotel and in your bed because you're pissed. Right, great, fine. We get in there, night poor. She's like, do you have any food? He went, I can give you some crisps. 
Give me crisps. The crisps, crisps are fucking inhaled. You know, more. She's like, no, no, I can't give you more. More. She's just fucking freaking out. Come on, you. She goes, I'm coming to your room. I went, are you fuck coming to my room? Get to your bed, you know. Oh, but I'm wanting a party. I want to, you know, sit up for a wild chat. I'm like, no, get to your bed. It's like one, in the, it's like three in the morning, sorry, by this point. Uh, oh, I was go long gone by that point. Yes, <laughs> go to your bed. <laughs> Oh, please, puppy dog guys. I'm like, okay, for fucking two minutes. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. If it was three in the morning by that point, the fucking clocks are going back as well. <laughs> so you'd been out for yet another hour. Exactly. Fucking so, hell. <laughs> we, we, we go back to my room. I said, right, come in, Ramette. I'm going to get a chat, and then you can fuck off because I'm tired because I'm ruined. I'm sleepy, you see. So, of course, she comes to my room, notices I've got a twin room, you know. Oh, that's it. I'm staying here. Uh, I went, are oh, you fuck? Get out of my room. Go to your own bed. It's games of bogey, you know, done. But no, no, of course, puppy little guys again. I'm like, okay, fucking just give me peace, take the bed. But I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping. I'm done. You see. She went, okay. I'm gonna go away to my room, get my pajamas on, and come back here and crash in that bed. I went, okay, fine, go. So away she leaves. So she's gone for like maybe a good, gone for a while. You see, I'm, I'm now asleep. She's gone. I've now locked the door behind her. Fuck her. Doors locked. You know. <laughs> she's gone. She's now gone via, t- towards the room, via Sparky's room. And so Sparky's lying in bed, you know, getting his Thai massage. You know, he's, li- he's lying flat on his back. The young lady is straddled over him, you know, with her hands, massaging his, his, uh, his areas. <laughs> Pastry. She's got a handful of massage, basically, <laughs> you know. A handful of it. <laughs> Magnificent. Um, Sparky hears the handle go, raw, 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 raw. Back and forth. <laughs> Hang He's, on a minute. <laughs> Give me that sound effect again. <laughs> you know, like really fast, like butt left and right. <laughs> you know, sounds like almost gunfire. <laughs> almost desperation to get in the room. You see, final loss. She's got hoodies. Yes. So he's like, she goes, "Who's there?" He went, "Be quiet. It's the coops. <laughs> if we're quiet, the door's locked. She won't know we're here." Fine. <laughs> again. He's like, "Shh, sh- quiet." Boom! Doors open. Hello! She's in the room. She's gone through the lock. Hello! Well, no, the lock's, the lock's intact, you know, but it's loose. <laughs> so a good hard push. She's in. Hello! So of course the toodles now back in the pants. Oh, hey, what's going on here? Coops is straight over to the young lady on the bed. Oh, you're wearing your fucking shoes. That's rude. Let me have to get them off. She's now pulling the shoes off the girl on the bed. You know, the girl's like, "Oh my god, what are you doing?" I'm helping you get your shoes, like, like speed like a yeah, tire. Yeah. I'm helping you get your shoes off, you know? The shoes pulled off, right? See ya! And leaves the room, right? Did, didn't she have, like, one built up heel because she had one leg longer than the other? She was that kind of fucking, you know, handicapped spastic type thing. <laughs> <laughs> the, big, the big club shoe. <laughs> yes, Aye. that's exactly. Freak. So, she then head into her room, goes via, well, goes via. Uh, Pink's room. Oh, was it Pink? Oh, yeah. yeah that's you right. see. Right enough. Fuck. No. <laughs> Wait a minute, actually. No, no, no I'm no. lying. Sorry, um, I'm lying. She goes no, by I, our good I, friend. I hear a commotion outside. Sorry. She goes via Duncan's room, our photographer's room, you see, and gets him the old, you know, chap a chap. Duncan's having a what? I, I, I mean, Dun- Dun- Duncan's <laughs> having a solo massage, you know? <laughs> and he's like, oh, for fu-, he's like, fuck off. I'm the answer, I'm the answer that door. Wise up. Pink, of course, is in, is in a room nearby. You know, that's not his. And here's a commotion outside. Pink walks outside naked. What's going on here? Coop's like, oh, why are you naked? Whose room are you in? That's not your room. Who's in there? And barges past into the room and sees a young lady lying in the bed. Now, who's naked, covering her, her, her goodness with her, with her, with her duvet. <laughs> Coop's then frog splashes the bed. <laughs> right? Now, you know... If you've just been soiled by pink, you know, the last thing you want is a coops frog splashing you. I'm surprised she wasn't in the shower scrubbing herself, sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they do that to me? They don't make I'll water you, hot you, enough. I tell you, I might get to the bottom of things, because obviously in the morning when we woke up, there was a bit of a dirty mark on the bed. Now, it certainly was not uh, made by me or the uh, lady that I was in with. The young lady, Maybe yes. Maybe it was the coops. It was a touch of leakage after the splash. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, God, man. Uh, oh, that's not right. So the coops now is now delighted. She's ruined two encounters. It's time to Possibly get dressed me. and get back to my room, you see. She gets dressed. Now, I'm now sound asleep. 
thinking door's locked, she's fucking out of here, you see. Not realising she stole my key. Cow. She's back, key and good morning! I'm out, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. Go to bed and just leave me in peace. I'm, I'm like awake again. I'm you know, like kind of bleary eyed, like, yeah. what the fuck's going on? So she's in the bed. She goes, Can I get a spoon? And I went, Fuck off. I'm trying to sleep here. Can I get a spoon? Shut up. Can I get a spoon? Oh, come here. So in the bed. Now, single bed I've got. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a delicate chap. You know, <laughs> I'm not built for single beds, but I'm in. I'm comfy. She's now into boom. I've suddenly got a face full of her fucking hair. It's up my nose and my mouth. She's over my arm. The arm's gone dead in seconds. You know? My arse is off the end of the bed. I'm having to now balance on the bed with my heels and my shoulders. You know? So you were topping and tailing. <laughs> her ZZ bomb all over the face. You know? And, I, and within seconds, she's snoring. And I'm like, for fuck's sake... I can't escape to get into the other bed because my I arms trapped. This is nowhere like a fucking walrus that's getting beaten by fucking ten people holding cricket bats. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I can't escape because of arms trapped below her and her head's a heavy bastard head to see as well. The hair's everywhere. I'm trapped. I'm, tra- I'm trying to chew myself off of the shoulder to escape to get to the other bed to sleep, you see, but I'm trapped. I get maybe the grand total of an hour sleep the whole night, you know? The morning comes. It's time for go to breakfast. She's wide awake. Morning, morning. How's you? How's things? Morning. I'm like, you better shut the fuck up, or I'm knocking you clean. I thought the fuck he was out. in Aberdeen. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> so, um, so she won't shut up, and it's still, it's still dark outside. I grab the lamp and shine it full in her fucking face. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm blinding her or brain damaging her, but no, she's still fucking yapping. So that's it, fuck it, get up, get myself washed and cleaned, you know, down the stairs for breakfast. And she's now, oh, I'm tired, I might go to my bed for a little while. Fuck off, see, you this, fucking bastard. This is a problem, Scott, you see. I came along with a bo- bottle of water, probably about one in the morning. One a- in the m- After yeah. midnight, we got her wet. Uh, then the night put her the bag of crisps, fed her after fed her midnight. Fed as well, uh, fed and watered. The problem you had there was it wasn't direct sunlight you were trying to attack her with. Like, like, you're right. Just open the curtains. Fuck you're like. fucking good thinking, Batman. Good thinking. Uh, See now, how did you manage to get crisp at that sort of time in the morning? Because your missus, you bailed she out. It as well, yeah. Aye. She this is this is exactly what happened with the flaps. And like how you were saying, you can't get angry at her. You, you just oh, cannot be. You cannot right. be angry at her. You bailed on the Saturday night. I think you went. At, I was late when you went anyway. Like because oh, you were, you were dying. So like we were all left there, and it was time to go home. And flaps went. Oh come on. Right. So me, Cal. And I can't even call her flaps. Me, Cal, and Trace left at the same time. So we're all we're all walking home, thinking, "I oh, will get a kebab or something." No, two o'clock in the morning, Thursday all shut down. It's like <coughs> fucking all the shut shutters us down, up, brrr, ruined. Fucking, if if you ain't eating, you're fucked. Yeah. We're, we're not interested in no stories. You know what it puts me in mind of? Remember that the cartoon Brave Star? <laughs> yeah, yes. Where the whole city shut down into like a fort when anything, any ship yeah. was going down. Right, <laughs> button the hatches. Right. <laughs> Brave star. <laughs> that fucking shit's for hell. real. Exactly. So fucking, we're walking home. Fucking gets back to the hotel. Carl's disappeared. He's he blah, 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 and he's gone. He can't even talk anymore. Brilliant. So I'm thinking, ah, Trace will just get some in here. Then I can go to my bed. Just like in, in a little voice. Oh, can, can I get something to eat? The porter's like, I ain't got no food here, missus. There's fucking note to eat. Well, obviously he didn't say no to eat like that, but you know. What right. I mean? goes, not stars or no. Nah, there's, no. There's, there's no to eat here, darling. Yeah, go to your bed. And all of a sudden, all I look over, I just sees like the eyes come out there. Please. Oh. And the boys fucking blanked. She was like, no, sorry, I, I literally have nothing here. So then she turns around and says, come in, let's go get food. I'm like, it's raining outside, Tracy. <laughs> oh, please. I'm like, oh. She is. So I get dragged oh. out. Master manipulator. Now, yeah. Now, it's not just raining outside. It's like fucking, you know when you see like a riot going on outside and they put the water can on? It's like, yes. <laughs> Fuck, it's like that. So we're outside, it's the pissing down. The rain's digging holes in the fucking tarmac. Oh, fucking, it's pissing down. So we find a direction to a Chinese, walks all the way there. Just so we get a... All the doors locked. Fucking oh. game over. Knocking on the door, not getting in. Walks back down towards um, um, Skinny Andy's or whatever it's called. Gets to there. Fucking knocks on the door because you can get food in there. Yeah, yeah. Knock, knock, knock. Blood looks out. Mate, can we come back in? We've just we've been in there. We just want to get back some food. We're not, it's after two, you're not allowed in. Like, oh, mate, come on. 
Next thing, Tracy goes, I'll try it. I'm like, Tracy, don't even bother. The smallest knock. Tap, tap, tap. Fucking boy managed to hear it. Can I get some food? I'm really sorry, but I'm not allowed to let you in. The boss is right next to me. Like The, the man from the council yeah. was actually there right at the time as oh, well. Oh, right, okay. So anyway, we'll leave. I'm piss soaked through here, but you still can't be angry at the girl. If it had been either you two or, or, or you fobs, I'd have, been, I'd have been throwing fucking roundhouses left, right, and centre. <laughs> I'd have been wiping folk out. There'd have been collateral damage and everything. I don't give a fuck how big you are or how tough you are. Anyway, <laughs> gets back to the hotel. Fucking gets back to the hotel. <laughs> Here's the same the same boy. Now this is the brass neck of your good lady, Steve. I can't believe this shit. Goes up to him, goes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really hungry. Have you, can't you really oh, give us brilliant. anything? Next thing, this bag of crisps comes out from, from nowhere. It's like the bag of crisps over the counter. There you go. I'm expecting, me now, do you like a couple of crisps? It was, can I? Woof, she's fucking gone. Sprinting. Oh, back's turned. She's, I've ne- I thought it, was, it reminded me of Zola Bud from 1984. <laughs> I have never seen a person move so fast in my life. Oh, brilliant. Like, Dude, genius. Not even a good night. You've got to be stubborn with that girl. See when she started there, oh, please. <laughs> you just need to fucking... F- put all the fucking natural instincts to, to feel sorry for but small people. You can't. People. You, can't. you can't. Trust I mean, me. You can't. Trust with, me. Well, I can't with you coops, know what? I but think you normally don't know who it is because, you know. I think this is why me and Tracy work so well because I'm just quite good at going, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> just, okay. just fuck off. Right, okay. You fuck off there. Okay. Yes, fuck Get off. Get fucked. Yes. You it works couldn't. so well. She knows She knows it's crossed the line when I do that. <laughs> the other thing that made me laugh about it as well. <laughs> Because that was the first time actually, okay, I've met her before, but just in brief, like when I'm sitting there, she's sitting there, the show's on, so you can't go, you keep him well, yeah, you, yeah, what do you do for a living, yeah, da, 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 da. so there's a show going on here, so it's the first time we got to sort of speak, and we're chatting away, and she goes, right, I'm going to go get a drink, I says, well, fuck, Steve's busy, like, I'll, I'm going to the bar anyway, I'll get you a beer in, now, I'm expecting, you know, I'm a bit seasoned at buying drinks for people, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I've been doing this for like years and years, I'm expecting maybe a vodka lemonade, or a... Um, gin and tonic or, or something like that no what does she hit me with right can I get oh, oh you can buy me a drink man. that's very kind of yeah not a problem I'm, I'm that kind of guy can I get a vodka yeah no problem and lemonade yeah no problem and cranberry yeah no problem <laughs> and soda water yeah no problem and gin in there and, <laughs> and honestly it was every fucking drink behind the bar in there and I'm, I was thinking a muddy right, point okay. basically <laughs> Ah, but can I get it in a tall glass, but not frosted, but, and it has to be such and such for I'm like, whoa, fuck it. You yeah. can ask for that shit yourself, darling. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll pay for it. Write down the exact volumetric oh. measurements of ice. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Scientific. I've never, but then after she goes, I'm like ripping, ripping the shit out for this drink. She goes, have a taste. Oh, that's gold, that is. Oh. The worst thing is, I, can't, I don't even know what I was even drinking because it was so fucking long, the list. I'm sorry, gentlemen. Speaking of fucking taste sensations, I've got a whole new... I mean, this this is now cracking rum can fuck off. <laughs> I'm done with you. Oh, this is my new tipple of choice. Now, I was lucky enough to have one of these at the uh, it was after the live show, and you know, it's it's a new product that I thought, oh, must try that. You know, it's Jack Daniels mm. with honey. Yes, I did have a taste of yours. Oh, well, man. because I bought one, I thought I'll try one of these. It was like Spazza Cola. Holy fuck! I nearly shot myself, uh, shot my load over myself. I, yeah. I'm, I'm running around, quick, try this. And everyone's trying this drink of mine. In fact, everyone drank it except for me. You know, I had to go buy another one instead. Don't feel bad. I didn't drink it either. Jables made a good point and said, you know what? It's like tasting, it's like drinking, sorry. Um, uh, pancakes. Pancakes. It's like drinking <laughs> pancakes. Like drinking maple pancakes, yeah. which of course, me being fat, loves a maple pancake. <laughs> Brilliant. I love some of that. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Can I say though, honey, uh, whiskey. Uh, oh, coke. Steve. I'll have a bit of coke. Yeah, it's fine by me. Yeah, you Coca Cola, ice, perfect. This was beautiful. Uh, I mean, I'm, can I, I'm hooked. Can I just put in the disclaimer that other <clears throat> Welsh uh, or originated whiskies are available? Other yeah. Welsh originated. Yeah, I did hear about it as well. Is it really? Yeah, the, the recipe was found down there or something like that. Oh, really? Ah, so, Motherfucker. So it's Jack Daniels. <laughs> I'm not a JD fan, but that shit was nice what you had. That was good. <laughs> Jack Taylor. Daniels, isn't it? Listen, guys. Oh, before we get to the show itself, of course, what happened there was now, of course, the next morning, of course, we're all getting ready for breakfast and whatnot as well. Pink's being getting himself showered <laughs> in the young lady's room. Now this is fucking brilliant. So we all arrive at the youngest. Oh, hello, hey, hey, hey. just to arrive at the, the room to see what's going on, you know. 
out comes the young lady. Oh, I'm a little bit embarrassed. Look at me. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no need, Pet. You know, you, you got railed. It's You're fine. not the first. You're not the first, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> but he's in. <laughs> Bing's, at, Bing's in the room. He's in the shower. But the shower door's open. He's like, oh, la, 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 la. The <laughs> now, this is a tiny little kind of like cubicle, if you will. There's a toilet. There's a shower. And that's pretty much it, yeah. you know. So Steve went, watch this. Runs in. Down with the tweeds. <laughs> And so it's taking a shit while Pink's having a shower, right? Oh. Now, you know, you know if you have a shit in a steamy room, it accentuates the smell, you see. So I'm in, like, I'm fucking tears in my face. I took a photograph of Steve, the happiest man on the planet, with both thumbs up, with Pink's head in the shower going, cunt. You know, he's trapped. But the problem is, it was a Mexican standoff. This Pink come out into the stink shit smell to get dried or does Steve stand to wipe you know what I mean what happens what do you do well, I was actually very tempted to pull the curtain back and start pissing all over him but then I thought that would be just a wee line step crossing was, too far I was very tempted to wipe Mars with a towel to be honest with you <laughs> <laughs> so gentlemen uh, before we can kind of wrap this up because it's getting kind of late on now for you guys uh, yeah, can I say before we go any further Forbes shut the fuck up I know <laughs> what, what a racket Jesus Christ man. Ross, Ross Pete still tells stories here how was your know? weekend <laughs> come on yeah there's nothing I can say it can even march up to that so I'm quite happy to sit here and haven't you been standing in dog shit for the last four days yeah oh, what, 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 what happened there what the I fuck? thought we'd avoided that <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was Friday, he's left, wasn't it? What, um, I obviously walked you down in the car. That's right, Because the dog yeah. was being a Bless him. dick. Walked you yes. to the car. He did. And, um, concerned mother. I actually had to drag him away for you. He's choking him. Come yeah. on, go on. Oh, so he was going nuts. He was. Walks around the block, and he's shit and he's pissed. So that's fine, comes into the house. But an hour passed, sitting playing Battlefield. Fuck, I need a toilet. Gets up. Didn't think... Loves about Battlefield. <laughs> didn't think to put on the lobby light. Oh, yeah. Walks through barefoot. Squelch. Oh. <laughs> See, it's not a wobby light, it's a jobby light. A jobby right. light. <laughs> and it was that moment, is it or isn't it? And I could reach the light and I just went, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, oh brilliant. Between the toes. Oh. 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 oh, it was awful. All you could do is hop to the shower. I uh, did, I'm yeah. hopping through. Oh, God, I need to piss as well. I'm Aye. hopping. He wasn't hopping pissing. anywhere. He fucking sat down, pulled the foot up to the fucking face and licked between his toes. <laughs> Oh, God. That's a blatant lie. For, there's no way Forbes' <laughs> foot could get that high. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only decent thing I wish to eat in this fucking house. <laughs> Scott says, where well, you can help yourself. Apples, tomatoes, and cheese. There was things in the cupboard. <laughs> there was pasta. There was sauces. There was bread, you know? Like, <laughs> so I had cheese and some kind of sauce. Brilliant. You'll probably find so that he could fit that in his foreskin. <laughs> oh. What's from a foreskin? We'd, uh, of course, on the, on the Sunday night... We'd, it was it was time for live showtime, of course. Yeah. And um, now, I mean, there was people who travelled. I mean, Jim Patience travelled from Brighton. Yeah. Would you believe? You know, his good lady Heather, brilliant lassie, who'd come from Inverness. Brighton. You know, we had folk from Aberdeen. Jeez. Chris Mack, who drove up with his good lady. Is it Kirsty? Kirsty. Kirsty. Yeah. Who came up on the on the, on the, on, the, on that day? Yep. On the Sunday, arrived just not yeah. long before the show started, and then first thing this morning, we're back to Aberdeen again. You know. I mean, it's amazing how many people travelled. I mean, big lords, they all came from you know far afield for yeah. this live show. I thought Big Lords stayed around the corner. No, no, no. She's got family up north, but she's ah, based okay. in Inverness and away, you see. So I these these folk all travelled up, you know, for the, uh, which amazed me nonetheless, you know. Guys from Aberdeen and oh, yeah. Bright Jim, of course, you know. Um amazing, amazing time, you know. Um <laughs> So, of course, we got all the kits up as well. You know, that was great. Uh, we had a guy as well on guitar. Uh, Pink, his name again is John... Um, John Mason. John Mason. Brilliant job as well. John came in. Yeah. A little bit of guitar. His solo work before he started, he of course. Great guy in as well. In fact, he was as good. Did I not hear Scatman John in his in his little fucking repertoire? A little bit, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Yeah. We also had a good friend of ours at the show called Scott Labour. Scott Labour came along with his cameras to record this whole thing in HD, which hopefully... That, uh, that shit was cool. I was not expecting that. Oh, brilliant! Yeah, I want massive like the, you know, this, this man's got skills. By the way, he knows it. What he's available what he's soon in shit. fucking IMAX. Oh, fucking hell. amazing! Couldn't <laughs> believe it. Brilliant stuff. So, pardon me. It's time for showtime, and the, the room's busy. Lots of folk there. You know, tickets are all in hand. It's great. The audience is all waiting to go. Now, one of our friends, a guy called Philip Pish, <laughs> we've oh. spoken about him before. Of course, he's had a few shandies. 
That's he's getting raucous. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, aye. He's had a few shandies. He's getting to the kind of heckly kind of stage, but he's still quite civil so far, you see. The show starts. Intro comes on. Now, my nerves were fucking jangling. Yeah. You know, it was because, of course, we came from behind the curtain onto the uh, the kind of live show bit. And um, when, when I heard the intro, intro music playing, and knowing I had like maybe 20 seconds before I had a, had a show face, suddenly the arse was spasming, thinking, what am I doing here? You know... <laughs> Can we cancel this? Can we just go home and curl the balls? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't going to happen. See, I wondered what that noise was. I was thinking Rolf Harris was there doing his... <laughs> it was actually just your arsehole contracting. Pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, came outside and the reception was fantastic. You know, the people were great. It was, yeah. you know, really got you pumped up to get going, you know. Um, loved every minute of it. It was fantastic. Ah, it was good. I mean... Okay, we had a few kind of technical faults here and there, a lot of problems now and again, but, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> but, can, uh, but I mean, overall, went really well. Now, guys, I mean, Steve, I'll ask you first of all, now, when when you heard that music play, for, because every, everyone had their own intro song, of course, you know? Yeah. When you heard your music play, how did you feel? Excited. I was fucking loving it. Yeah. I'm, I'm an attention whore, so I was just like, <laughs> fucking, hey, yeah, here's me. Here's me. Yeah, fucking couldn't, I couldn't wait to get out there. It was brilliant. Oh, it was fantastic. Just, you know something, I just wish we had longer because it was kind of, I think um, we didn't get a chance to kind of, <coughs> you know, like a lot of this is just kind of like freestyle, we'll just come yeah. on and shoot the shit. We didn't really get a chance to do that because it was all kind of, we need to do this, we need, we need to make sure we've got content. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because none of us knew what the fuck to expect. And I think, I mean, as well as it went, I reckon if had we had another hour of just shooting the shit like we normally do yeah. oh people would have been bored to fucking tears by the yeah end of probably it. Yeah. I think we probably could have got a bit more fucking gold out of that <laughs> <laughs> maybe I think I mean I mean, obviously we, we aimed for the kind of two hour mark and I think we were yeah. just shy of that but yeah. that's perfect more thought. than enough more yeah, than so, enough exactly yeah, yeah, you know? I think oh, so because you know obviously you want to leave space free on the DVD for extras and exactly and interviews and Ex you know yeah. director's commentary naturally yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Take this commentary. It was all shit. <laughs> the end. Can I see your fucking tits? I was hungry now. <laughs> That's it. I had a salt belly. Uh, so, how did you feel, of course? All kid music. A little bit of the old um, classic My movies. Yeah. Me no. So, let's start playing. In fact, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll play each person's kind of theme tune as well, if need be as well. This, this, of course, was your one. Yeah. You know, Steve uh, had the, uh, the classic... Um, not bad. <laughs> he came out with a grey suit on, oh, miming the actions. Yeah, it was yeah. wonderful. You know, we had, of course, uh, our good lady Claire had, um, you know, a classic track as well. Of course, Claire, the big redhead, you know. You must have the song. Ah, I know it now anyway. <laughs> so. We had Claire, of course, coming with the old cherry pie. Sparky came out <laughs> to the classic. Better real American for Sparky, you know, how he came with the t-shirt, <laughs> doing the poses, the shirt was torn off in one big motion. <laughs> wearing, whilst wearing the child size hoodie that was found in Aberdeen many, many yeah. months yes, ago. Yes, I remember that. Know? So that was classic. Now, my favourite, I think, well, or one of my favourite story was the uh, the phrase. <laughs> and we had the phrase come out to this. The phrase, ideal. And he was brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the phrase was fantastic. I forget that they I think talked I far a, more. I think I have a new man crush. The phrase. Oh, he's, he's brilliant. Yeah. I love that boy. He's funny as fuck. But of course, oh, the last one we played, of course, was for Mr. Pink. And I think, personally, <laughs> very appropriate for what was, uh, what was going on. Old Mount No Brain, this guy's a pain. You can scream and cuss. Man, he'd put his boot up your dog's ass. He'd even lick your lass's puss. See, he'd nick your fags and he'd drink your boots. He'd tie fireworks to the cat. And I bet he'd inform the doll you were working. Well, just who is this twat? He's a cunt, he's a cunt. He's a C-U-N-T cunt. With his broken teeth and his ugly face, he's a male dick, he's a the town. I'm sure you can agree. Very appropriate. Like the place. 
I could quite happily listen to that all night. I know. He slid with the granny and bite their funny wet trousers back to front. And he fired such cocks and he's riddled with pox because basically he's a cunt. Love it. Love it. You know something? Now, who's actually singing that? Chubby, uh, Chubby, Chubby Brown. Brown. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was Chubby Brown. Do you know he's actually coming up to this neck of the woods? Is he really? Which neck of the woods? Our neck of the woods or your neck of the woods? His neck of the woods. And ours, I believe, as well. Oh, yeah. He, he, normally, he normally does it every year. He'll do like a wee tour and he, he visits. It's normally kind of like around kind of Christmas time, kind of box to box and he does the show in Aberdeen as well. And as far, as far as I know, he's, he's heading up north towards Pink as well, I, I imagine. We need to get tickets for that. And I'll tell you if we can, I'm taking my dad. He's a proper Chubby Brown fan. To, to be fair, him. right? I think he's, he's sometimes quite funny, but I saw him in Wakefield about fucking 16 years ago or something like that. And I didn't actually think he was that funny, although the fucking bingo wearing fucking dull fucking scrounging <laughs> scummers in Wakefield were fucking pissing themselves. The folk away. who were dressed up in like Elizabeth Duke, you know, finest. Yeah. Uh, the, um, now, see, of course, again, I, I explained, of course, that I had the, the like less than like an hour's sleep because of that fucking bat, bat of the coops. I forgot also mentioned as well that the night before that, um, I had like three hours sleep because I was woken at half six in the morning by a phone call from Australia. Yibbida, yibbida. Bloody hell. So our friend yibbida, uh, yibbida. our friend Dean from Australia, of course, published author. His new book's out now, of course. Bo- Gifts, Gifts of the Paramank. I haven't had a chance to read it yet because I'm not finished. Neither have I. I've, I've been reading the I've tried to finish the book I'm reading. I'm kinda of like, oh come on, come on. <laughs> I'm the same. And I'm shit. the same as well, yeah. <laughs> so of course I'm now, still through half month uh, last month's razzle, so I can't <laughs> 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 so Busty poor, beauty's over forty. Exactly. Oh. So poor Dean obviously didn't realise the time difference was so severe. It's like midday for him, he's having <laughs> a beer in the sunshine because it's like fucking summer of that bastards now as well. Yeah. And phones me at like half six in the morning, I'm awake, oh what's going on? Voicemail, just turn it off, voicemail. Leaves me a voicemail. Oh, yeah, g'day, Scotty, it's uh, Dean calling from Australia. Um, I just wanted to touch base with you and wish you all the best for the weekend, mate. I, I'm not real sure what time it is over there. So Bastard. I hope uh, you Half sex, Dean! Um, but yeah, look, I'll, uh, I'll be certainly thinking of you over the weekend, mate, and uh, I'll be wishing you all the best. So uh, have a great time and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Bastard. Time was it? Half six in the morning. Well, do you know how you get back to sleep after that? How do you do that? I you won't. just listen to the voicemail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he actually, uh, he sounds a bit upside down. <laughs> yes, oh. exactly. So, Peg, what about you? I mean, of course, when you heard your, your tune playing as well, I mean, any nerves at all for the show? Uh, how, how, how did you feel? I had absolutely none. I was completely really? and utterly nonplussed by the whole thing because it's just... Well, I'd done all my fucking fretting in the in the run up to it, and it's like, hey, if it was going to be a fucking disaster, who gives a shit? I think really? that was the thing as well. Though I thought, well, you know what? If it, yeah, if it, yeah. if it falls its ass, then it falls its ass, you know. Because you know we've tried. If it fails, it fails. But at least we can say we've tried. Yeah, exactly. Know? And I think, I mean, I think uh, that primarily we've had a positive reaction towards the show. You know, everyone that I've spoken to has said they loved it. They got a laugh. They were hee hawing. You know, but the problem was, of <laughs> course, during the show was full of piss. You know, <laughs> full of drink, was just heckling, heckling, and, and initially was quite funny. You know, he did really well, but then he started to get annoyed. He started like heckling over people speaking. You know, we we, we were trying to trying to you know to read bits out and say things, and you'd hear him going, ma 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 ma. People nearby were getting pissed off with him. Yeah. So then, of course, there was a. It was actually as if he was on remote control from Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> so then. He keeps shaking his head. Poor Forbes. Well, you shop Forbes for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Fucking yapping. Sick of your shit tonight. I know. All you want's not talking. <laughs> Why don't you give it a rest? <laughs> fuck's sake, Forbes. Um, so he kept yapping, yapping, yapping. So at one point then, without giving away too much before the DVDs, DVDs out, Pink then was out in the audience and walked by Pink. Tell us what he did. Well, I, right, I came on as uh, as Pinkle Fix It, and I, I sort of thought when I came on, because I had a few costume changes. So right, so when I say we're giving it away, giving it away, you know. So I came out and I gave a wee bit of the old hello, Fuck and I, I walked up the aisle and I gave a wee sort of hello to someone in the crowd, and directly behind them, Philip Pish was, and he shoved his head out and went, or something like that, shoved his well, I fucking open hand slapped him with every might that was in my body <laughs> and just wrung that dish. Uh, <laughs> sadly, for you boys up at up the, the kind of the, the I'd say the stage area as such, 
but this was blocked just by my body so you never noticed it and no one actually saw it although there were people in the crowd going at the end of the night thank fuck you slapped them because if you hadn't I was going to bloody hell <laughs> well, the thing as well though at the end of the show as well after, after it was all said and done and uh, he was still there we're packing things away and I've packed most of the kit here into like a, a, a big kind of bag that we used for carrying the, the laptop the mixing board cabling you know all in one big bag Philip Pesh staggers around drunkenly and sits on the bag. And I'm like, oh. what the fuck are you yeah. doing? Not just the bag full of your kit, yeah. but all the, the spare mixing board, the flap top, the other spare cables yes. that I brought along in case we He's lounged to over all this everything. kit. Everything. And I'm like, what the fuck are you playing at? And I properly chewed him a new asshole. I was right about the side. The, I heard this ball. Okay. I mean, I just went for it. I'm like, you fucking prick. <laughs> and I'm right arm, you know, bah, 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 bah. And about the whole thing, you see. And then I went back and I said, look, I said, listen, I'm sorry for howling at you, but you fucked me right off tonight. I went, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fuck, I'm fucking sorry, I'm sorry. And then he went, he went, he went away and got more pissed. Yeah. You know? Well, do you, want, do you want to know how pissed he was? Yes. Right? Was that I was speaking to him today. He doesn't even remember me slapping him. Fucking That's how pissed he was. Yeah. Now, I rung that fucking bell and he doesn't even remember <laughs> it at all. Oh, but that bollocking, that, that bollocking you gave him fucking hell. Even I, I was fucking wincing. I was sitting at the side and I was like, fuck, I'm, I need to get out of here. Fucking hell. I mean, I the properly first, steamed the, in. The first 15 seconds, I was trapped between Scott and Phil. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God, what did I do? I'm in the crossfire. Fucking Awkward. I was sneak past it. <laughs> fucking hell. I hope there's no fucking collateral damage from this good missile coming I've in. I've got the rage for his own. <laughs> You've been a fucking dick tonight. And I'm just of going course, for it, you know? Of course, he wasn't the only fucking heckler. True, no. yes. So, of course, good point, Pink. Uh, so, wait, so of course we had uh, you know the uh, the crowd were in place and of course again yeah yeah mostly listeners of course but then some random guy who was in the bar downstairs went oh what's going on up there I'm going to have a look came up the back stairs and kind of head at the very back of the the room and then so we're speeding away here oh man fucking blah blah fucking blah 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 who the fuck's that look over here's a guy in the most horrendous jumper yeah. you've seen in all your days yeah. giving it blah 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 Fucking, fucking, fuck, it, fucking, fuck. It wasn't fuck. even English, was it? I'm more like, are you even making any sense? What are you saying, pal? I'm thinking, okay, sit down, whatever. Then again, two minutes later, rah, fucking, fucking shit, you're fucking shit. The rah, thing rah. is, to be fair, that fucking jumper looked like it came off a of fucking TVAM back yeah. in 1984. It did. So, blah, 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 blah. So then, our good friend Carl Reed, who's not a small fellow, you know, dormant himself, he sneaks at his chair, skirt from the outside, and got the guy. And was basically saying to them, you know, quite quietly, quite discreetly, either you walk down that stairs or you're going to get thrown down that stairs. <laughs> guy's like, shit, this guy is six foot four and built like a tank. I better leave here now, you know. As he's walking away, of course, Maynard breaks the ultimate burn. He goes, oh, hold on, hold on. I'm getting a phone call. Puts him on my phone. Yeah, yeah, what's that? Yeah, 1984 called. They want their fucking jumper back. You know, <laughs> whoa! <laughs> Boom! Well, hey! Right, the thing was, I had that lined up for him before, but I thought, is this guy? Is this maybe Doogie Bray? Is this guy part of the show or something? You thought he's a plant. Yeah. So I'm looking at you, thinking, you never told me this is happening, and you're looking at me saying, this ain't happening. Fuck that time, who he is. fucking Cal Reed's like fucking. He's moving. He's fucking. He's cutting shapes across that floor towards him. And that time, I'm like, no, 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 him hey, and come back here. You're fucking. <laughs> you're on my time here. Exactly. You ain't fucking, come on, come you ain't on, fucking getting away. Across that floor, uh, they were largely round ones. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, he was he was downstairs saying, oh, he fucking he, he ripped me to pieces. I, I'm not, I don't think quick, so, but I'm like, hang on a minute. Why the fuck would you try and heckle someone if you can't think on your feet like that? Exactly. Why exactly. would, and especially coming dressed like a fucking reject from TVAM. Exactly. There's, there's no fucking need for it. So it then, of course. Wasn't, uh, wasn't as good as your shoot down on Phil. Well, <laughs> I better say that. So, of course, so, so Philip is still giving it. Bah, 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 bah. Even after getting the, the fucking bell rung by Pink, he's still giving it the old. Bah, 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 bah. Oh. So, me and I went. To me, whisper, 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 I went, oh, great idea. So I went, you know what, guys? Let's stop the show. We're stopping the show for a second because Philip Piss obviously has something to say to, to the whole audience here. Phil, if you could stand up, please. And whatever it is you're needing to say, please say it clearly so we can move on with the show. So he stands up and he goes, mm. so yeah, anyway, and then, oh, oh! <laughs> 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 Fucking crowd went apeshit. The, 
audience went fucking ape shit. We're all Wah! fist bumping. And <laughs> we're dancing. We're fist bumping. Fucking. He's like, oh, eh, oh fucking. Eh. <laughs> Sat <Burned>. down. Timid. <laughs> but I'm like, can you feel that? It's like it's a burn. And oh. Put him right in his car. Because I was waiting to get fucking pink with that as well. But no, no. Brilliant. Philip Besh nailed. Absolutely. Oh, fucking cool. is. Oh, brilliant, of course. But uh, so, yeah, guys. I mean, uh, we'll probably call us quits now shortly because we're getting kind of late on here for you guys. Obviously, you know, you're needing to get away here. Um, did you have fun, guys? I fucking loved it. Absolutely loved it. The funniest thing for me was actually meeting Pink because I went into, uh, you guys know about this, but went into the Why Not. And briefly before, well, in fact, going back a little bit, I was fucking minding my own business, trying to find my hotel room, which is another story anyway. And fuck it. <laughs> for those who haven't stayed at the... the th- in fact, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to expand on my story here. The premise of me going up there, you guys all told me, we've got a cracking hotel for you to stay, because I'm all about the nice hotel. But right, okay. I've got a firm belief in, if my house is a, is a, a level five, where I'm staying for the hotel, it needs to be at least a level seven. It has oh, to be nicer right, than okay, where okay, I stay. Okay. Right. right. But it's, that's another story anyway. Okay. So you told me you're staying at Thurzo Hilton. Perfect. I'm happy. I'm <laughs> delighted with that. Happy. It's a name that's synonymous with quality. Do you know what right, I mean? Right, okay. So I'm thinking, yeah, you can't go far wrong with that. Perfect. <laughs> Gets, now, first thing that happens on the old Google Maps, I didn't bother fucking running any surveillance or anything before I get there. The road you get to, to, to Thurzo... I'm texting you boys, yeah, we're just getting there. Ba-bing, ba-bing. Oh, can't wait to get him in. I'd, yeah, perfect. Fucking Spitfires are flying over and everything, greeting me and all that malarkey. <laughs> so anyway, I decide, right, <laughs> gets, on <the> old, <laughs> gets on the old Google and everything. <laughs> gets on the Google. Da-da-din, da-da-din. Thurzo Hilton. It's like, fucking, there's no such thing as Thurzo Hilton, Maynard. Fucking wise up. And then I thought, oh, what the fuck? Oh, brilliant. And then <laughs> someone says, no, it's a Royal Hotel. I said, okay, Royal, it must be all right. Da-da-din, da da Directions. Oh, perfect. We're just trying to corner from it. Oh, fuck. We must be right next to it. Looks to the side. You know that fucking haunted house or something like that? That's what it looked like. I was like, motherfuckers. So it checks in. Fucking trying to find my room. And I'm not joking you. It's room Base number camp. Room oh, yeah. number 221. I'm, I'm going upstairs. I'm going downstairs. I'm waving to fucking like African tribes going past because I'm so far out of the way. He walks past oh, yeah. looking. He was in the Inca zone. <laughs> you know, By the way, he didn't so. get his room in time. They weren't getting a crystal. Fucking <laughs> 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 crystal maze. It's a five-minute game. <laughs> By the way, sir, I'm, your I'm room's not in. The fucking place is creepy, but there was a little kid fucking cycling around on a tricycle. Yes. Yeah. There was two twins in the hobby staring at me. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so your your room's in Dingwall. Okay. Fuck, fuck it. it. I was scared in them corridors at night. I, oh. I actually ran to my room last night. I'm not Did you? Oh, fucking corridor, scary as fuck. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> Fucking put it this way, I tell how bad my, my room location was. If there was a fire, I wouldn't even bother fucking getting out of bed. I just stayed and burned. I'm going <laughs> fucking nowhere. There is no way you're finding any any way back downstairs or anything like that. So <laughs> uh, eventually I'm I'm walking to my room, I'm thinking, fuck, I've got a right sweat on here trying to find my room. Door opens up. Oh, on you come, fell on you come, it's quite a narrow doorway. Oh, cheers, mate. Next thing. Are you Maynard? Oh yeah, why? Oh, I'm full of pitch, blah, blah, blah. Oh, fucking okay, great, nice one. So I'm recognised already, so I'm thinking, right. by, by now I'm thinking, fucking celeb, I'm fucking big in oil. <laughs> People know my shit, <laughs> fucking hell. Practising the autographs in the bedroom and everything. Brilliant. So anyway, <laughs> fucking, gets, in soup. Yeah, gets in my shower, well, my shower, my bijou shower, <laughs> fucking, now I'm only 5'9", I'm not exactly big, right. and even I struggle to get my junk in that shower. So gets my shower, we eventually go out for a few drinks and that lot, uh, go to the why not, Walks in, all says, Charlie Murphy! <laughs> now, I look to the face, and there's a big dude in front of me. And I was, all right, fellas, how's it going? Yeah, not bad, not bad. Now, not only did I not recognise the face, I didn't recognise the voice either. Uh-huh. So, walks away, and he's trying to wait to me. I'm like, oh, yeah, da-da-da-da-da. I, I didn't like to ask a name or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I asked Cal. I like to call him Caltron now, because we bonded like that shit. Right, lovely, so Caltron. Yeah, I says, Cal, who is that fuck? Who's that fella? He goes, that's pink, is it not? I don't know. So that's one of your mates, the the CEO. Yeah. I says, says alright, try to be all discreet. Mate, who is that? I being all discreet and he goes, Oh, Pinky, don't know who you are. I was like, oh, oh, fucking wise up. Brilliant. Yeah, try to be discreet and everything. Brilliant. Fucking hell. So you had no idea it was Pink? I had absolutely no idea it was Pink. I've only ever seen him in real life on the TV, and that was it. <laughs> and of course, he took his binoculars off, so yes. I didn't recognise without his, without his really? glasses on. Of course. So Pink, uh, I mean, when, 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 when me and I busy dingied you, you know, what, what, <laughs> what, what, what were you thinking? 
Ah, I was just like fucking big in shame is what it was. <laughs> <laughs> I never even recognised him. Brilliant. We're funny as fuck. That's fucking no, nice. Just an absolute blast. And then I got assaulted by Jabes. Fucking, with talking about feet or something like that. And she goes, oh, what size are your shoes? So, size nine. Nine and a half. What? On a, on a female? That's not... That's She's a of, fucking surely. Sasquatch footed bitch, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Bigger hands on me and everything. Oh, man, I'm telling you. That'll explain why when people were barging through the crowds and people were falling over, they just banged into her and she just kind of went... <laughs> bust. Like, you know, you know those boxing... Weebles. Box, uh, even weebles. I was about to say, one of those boxing bags you used to get as a kid with the big yeah. spring. Blah, back up again. <laughs> Fuck, no problem. Looking like fucking Crusty the Clown, you know? <laughs> fucking hell. But no, my weekend was Morning brilliant. bed here. Absolutely fucking brilliant weekend, which is quite in tune because... Do you know what today actually is? It is now uh, it's another anniversary Monday. of Jimmy Savile's Monday. death. Well, it's, uh, yeah, it's the anniversary of Jimmy Savile's death. Oh, oh really? Oddly enough. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. It's today, really? Yeah. I think, think so, yeah. yeah. Bloody hell. Yeah, but I've got another anniversary as well. All those lives he touched. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. Whoa. What? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it is also the anniversary of me moving to Aberdeen. Really? Which, yeah, that's, it's 15 years today. But there's another more poignant anniversary. Hold on, hold on. Um, Coincidentally, yes. Savile dies and then you suddenly move to Aberdeen. Yeah, Never exactly. seen them in the same room. I yeah. don't need to point fingers. <laughs> oh, 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 now then, now. Get the wig on! Get the wig on! <laughs> <laughs> I don't fuck out like a judge. It's more like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> fucking Holy Clive from folks. Hitman and Her. It's Clive from Hitman and Her. If only, folks, if only you had the video. If you're not watching the video, you're missing the goodness here. <laughs> <laughs> See if that hair was a bit straighter, it would actually. Oh then, it no would be, then. Uh, it would be Tina Turner in Mad Max Three. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even wear it. It's too fucking warm. <laughs> I'm not used to having hair on my head. But it's another anniversary, an even more poignant one. Right. You know what that is? No idea. This is one year since I first came on the show. Really? Yes. Yeah. Pumps. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, first pump, year. Yeah. Oh, you should have said, man. Yeah, it's a year. I was, I was like, fucking hell. So essentially, the live yeah. show was nearly a year for you someone, being on the show. Someone go and get a Johnson's pie and put a candle in. <laughs> Somebody, uh, you know what? Uh, that's, fun, that's great. Yeah, I actually Brilliant. believe the live show was just for, just for me. I, I, <laughs> yes. I genuinely do believe that. The live show was your celebration. Yeah, yeah it's my testimonial. So, that's fantastic. So, well, hold on, <laughs> we, we, have a, we have a phone call before we, uh, we call it a day here. Hello, Carl, are you on the show? Hello, nothing, nothing. Oh. It's been one year since I've basically popped my clogs, and I've popped a few clogs in my time, I can tell you. No, nothing, nothing. Uh, anyway, uh, good night. It's from Jimmy. You've probably noticed my name in the papers now and again with my friend, Mr. Gritter. Good night. <laughs> Wise up. Wise up, exactly. Uh, that's yeah. fantastic, man. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, I'm glad you're here, Lasky. Yes. And for the fucking year of our I feel yeah. terrible now. I didn't get you anything. Yeah. Well, funnily enough, it's actually mum and dad's fucking crazy 400th anniversary this weekend, which I never went home for as well. But oh, Ooh, right. Ooh, oh. Shit. more important things to worry about. Yeah, exactly. So, guys, uh, before we close up the shop tonight, uh, how do you guys feel about a possible DHB Live Two? Yeah, why not? At some point. I'm thinking maybe Aberdeen. Yeah, yeah. fucking dog sitting again. <laughs> <laughs> Take Milo with us this time. Yeah. I'm running about. We've, we've already had a fucking DHB number two. It was in the fucking shower when I was in there. <laughs> 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 so, folks, uh, Charum, what do you think? Uh, a DHB live two, maybe in Aberdeen. I think the consensus so far, I think from what I've heard, has been quite positive. But uh, Yeah, I suppose if so, we lost. Folks, also, uh, we debuted a couple of shirts for sale as well at the live show that well, in the next couple of days will be available on our dhbshop.com's page, of course, you know, which uh, you can access either through dhbshop.com or if you go to dhbradio.com, there's a link there to the shop. Um, the um, the uh, two shirts, of course, we debuted the comic shirt with the, you know, the white shirt with the comic design, you know. Loving the, the white design. By loving the that one, by yeah. the way. Brilliant. Love a white t-shirt. Also, there, there's a picture of a kind of DeVito Schwarzenegger remake with those shirts on. Yes, me looking yeah. very Schwarzenegger, <laughs> looking very DeVito. Yeah, exactly, yes. <laughs> but we've also got uh, stock of 
fuck you John shirts. Hey. And they hey. were quite popular as well. The road too as well. So, so hopefully uh, they'll be in the store in the next kind of few days. But uh, but yes, I'm very excited. So yeah, I think the, the plan might be is uh, DHP Live 2. Um, probably, I don't know, nothing, nothing confirmed yet by any means. Nothing, nothing set in stone, yeah. but I think it could happen. Sounds good to me. Exactly. Uh, guys, I think on that note, uh, shall we call an end to things? It's an end to things. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Guys, uh, again, thank you so much. Before we go, uh, <coughs> a big thank you to Ailey Johnson for the pies. Uh, I believe all of us, including Sparky, yeah, really appreciated the pies that we got. Um, much appreciated. Also, a uh, big shout out to Mark's Little Southern again at uh, Thursday to 2. Again, thank you for uh, the, 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 the tattooing, the promotional work, the sponsoring the live show as well was really appreciated. Um, loves you know, a pie. Loves a pie. Uh, what about you guys? Um, Pink, anyone do you want to say thank you to you or hello to? I'd just like to say thank you to the fucking sexy woman that I pulled uh, at the weekend. That was uh, very nice. Thank you very much. And a big shout out to big Andrew Gorman. Oh! He was uh, asking me how the show went uh, today. I said I'd give him a shout out. Cormac, you're a cunt. <laughs> what about you, Maynard? Uh, I'll give a shout out to, to Big Dunk for the amazing drive up there. Uh, Again, Dunk, yeah, of course. Dunk yeah. for taking photographs and his good lady, of course. Yeah, big shout out to them. And also Northern Monkeys in the chat room. And that's it. What about you, Forbes? Uh, just the Fiona and Ross, because Fiona started listening to the show. All hopefully right, okay. my son won't anytime soon. Hopefully not. And hopefully you are both feeling better after your little traffic collision. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah so I heard mm-hmm. they were involved when they were out in their Aventus. Some Toyota fucking thing. <laughs> Poof, to clean out the game. Some, Some big skinhead, land cruiser. Skinheads get out, threaten them. <laughs> You'll tell them it's a fucking accident. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Steve? Oh, big thank you to everyone who made this weekend possible. Just uh, especially yourself, Scott. Fucking, we couldn't be, we wouldn't be here without you. You know what I mean? It's, this is your baby. You know, we're just, we're just milking the ride. You know I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, just, we're just milking it. Oh, fuck, uh, if it wasn't for you. your hard work, we wouldn't be here. So, yeah, you're you just know. the carriage to my fucking destination, Hollywood. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> A small step when you're on your claim high. I reckon high. Then there could be a new tagline for a, for an upcoming t-shirt. If oh. there isn't a t-shirt that's got the slogan on it, loves a pie, I swear oh, to God, I'll be fucking Loves feet. a pie. Loves a pie. <coughs> Listen, guys, again, of course, can I thank everybody who came to our live show? Thank you so much. I mean, my God, you guys made that night fantastic. Yeah. It was great seeing you all there. I mean, again, to all all, all, all those of you who travel distance, Jim Patience, Lords, uh, Chris Mack, everyone who came from a distance to get there as well. Heather, I, amazing. Couldn't Jim, believe it. Stunned. What the fuck, Jim? Jim. Longest travelled fucking listener. That is just yeah. awesome. Parts of it by coach, yeah. parts of it by train, parts oh, of it by man. fucking horse and carriage. Yeah, you, you physically know? couldn't drive any further, further land wise. You, you oh, physically can't. Mental. It must Ridiculous. have been like a really shit version of Cannonball Run for him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of shit versions, I've seen the shit version of the person who's going to be in my Bond movie up there. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to mention any more. That's all right. <laughs> that guy's fucking amazing. I Brilliant. Knew, I've, Big I've, number two in the yeah, chest. I know exactly what, what his position is going to be. You know, there's always one. Remember that Bond film where the midget boy from Fantasy Island was in it? Fucking odd job. Whatever his yes, name was. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. who he's going to be for me. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm like, I've caught Bond. Fucking little man. All you need to do is flick the switch while I go for a piss. I okay, Mr. Bond. Uh, Mr. M- Mr. M- Mr. M- angry man. <laughs> I'm pissing. Fucking next thing. What happened? Oh, I forgot to flick switch. I was texting. Oh, you fucker. It's back. It's Why back. Why you? It's back. Sasquatch. Fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, thank you to all the fucking, again, to everyone who traveled, to everyone who was in Thursday who came along as well, to friends, family, listeners, to everyone who went out their way to come to this show. Uh, absolute heartfelt thank you for making, for giving us the best weekend we've had. Uh, I've had in a long, long time. I mean, Mike, oh, f- brilliant. He's the best it. weekend the last fortnight. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I mean, it was absolutely amazing. I mean, my God, thanks so much. Um, thank you to, of course, the venue, the Why Not. Yeah. Guys, great venue. Let's face it, you know, great yeah, yeah. venue, yeah, great staff as well. Great, great staff. Couple of hotties. They did a fucking magical job, you know. Yeah. They 
So hats, hats off to Kenny the barman on the Sunday night for doing the oh, 15 uh, Jaeger train. train. Oh, the <laughs> that, Jaeger train was magnificent. like YouTube fame. He does, you know. I now I uh, I videoed the the Jaeger train, so I'll maybe get that up on our Facebook page, you know, shortly on our, our YouTube channel, of course, youtubecom slash bastards. Um, there will be more photographs and videos appearing over the next few days from us, from listeners, from Duncan, of course, you know. Um, the DVD will be hopefully coming very soon uh, once we get the footage from the from the uh, uh, videographer yes. and get it edited. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. But um, there... <laughs> There could be audio problems because we had a problem with the with the with the flap top the flap top at one point, but <laughs> it wasn't quite the flap top's problem. It yeah. was it was the big feet trampling all over the cables and pulling them out of holes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, guys, listen, you people are fucking fantastic. I know that we're normally like, piss pulling and carding on here, but heartfelt, fucking love you guys, all of you bastardos, even Johns, even yeah. jo- tonight, even Johns, even you know, Jones. because you make this show what it is. You, you guys, listen in make us do this show you know I can't thank you enough uh, I'd give you all hand jobs but you know it's, that's, that's not going to work <laughs> out sadly I'll save it for skin Andes. I'll save it for skin Andes. Andes skinny, and skin skinny Andes skinny Andes I'll just give finger bangs to the girls that's finger all bangs to the girls brilliant uh, <laughs> <laughs> on that note folks we're out of here <laughs>